Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Very Rough Ross. I hope you're all doing well. Hey, Mishaps, AT Ram, thank you both for being online. Hey, Antonius, Noak, Noek, Nook, Nook, Game of Cain. Um, it's going to be a fun stream. Hey, Shinobo. Um, anyone else I've missed, I'll catch you as you chat. I hope you're all doing great. Let's uh, see if we can get this to work. There's the game. Hooray. Okay, this is the full version of the game. I've imported my um, save from the demo in which worked really, really easily, which is great. So I'm really, really excited about that. I'm also interested in the conversation Miss Saps has been having uh, before the stream started about um, clothing styles, which is quite cool. <laughs> Rough for us, yeah. Beep or meep? What's that, Coles? Uh Right, where were we last time? What did we do last time? What was, what, was, what was the last time? If I remember right, we recruited a wizard with mummy issues. Um, is, is that correct? Is that what happened? Let me just check our character list here. But you're nebulous, awesome. Um, I need to get some nebulous done this weekend because we have to record the next uh, level of the campaign. Um, yes, that's right, we picked up Auch, um, a wizard who has fireball and magic counter. Um, what are their um, valor skills, blaze? And it damages enemy units with a column of flame, so they've got an AoE attack. And how does that differ from the witch's one? That's right, the witches can teleport. That's pretty, pretty big. That's cool. Okay. We now have the time to actually sit and customize our units a little bit. So that is something I want to do today. But I think we should just get the ball rolling and maybe do a mission or something before we get going. It's a very fascinating conversation about breastplates going on in chat at the moment, which is really interesting for me at what, like, what time is it? 6 30 a.m. Um, but we have the full game, and I'm really excited to play through it. And I hope everyone is doing great. Uh, there is a new thing as well. I don't know if it's going to work. <laughs> first boat. First boat. I always call it first bot, and I don't know why. But I think if you use emojis, that wasn't an emoji. If you use emojis, um, I might not use that actually. There might be a thing that works. I don't know if it's actually going to work. That's the problem. <laughs> Doesn't go through in the chat. No, I don't think it's going to work. Okay. I, I thought I'd managed to turn on a thing that would make the emojis dance around the screen, but it doesn't... I don't think it's going to work on YouTube. I think it only works on uh, Twitch, unfortunately. Oh, well. Not the end of the world. No, you're not. You're having a conversation about breast plates, TRAM, which is a completely valid thing to be having when we're playing a game like this. Let's grab whatever the shiny thing is. It's a divine shard. We should actually go back and... I think we've got a few more divine shards to, spe to spend. Um... And that could actually pick us up a new unit. We might be able to get our hands on the angel. But let's just grab all this stuff first. Um, I want to look at my units. I really need to get them um, to be a bigger size. There's a lot of stuff just lying around down here. And some wood. Okay. No dancing emojis. Yeah, it's the same. Hey, um, ooh, that's a new one. WTTNC Frep. Thanks for joining the stream. How's it going? Uh, no emojis, sadly. <laughs> When you're talking about gendered breastplates, I kind of just figured, like, there have always been breastplates, but they've just been breastplates, doesn't really matter what gender you are, you just have a brace, a, a plate to protect your chest. Um, now, if you're hearing lots of, lots of like, 
bangs. Uh, let me know. My desk appears to be coming apart on top of everything else. So not only did I have my number plate stolen <laughs> and a bunch of other things, my and I can't put my desk in my closet to help with the audio uh, because there's a pillar in there that I forgot about. I also now have a desk that's falling apart, which is just amazing. So I need, I haven't unlocked any of these yet. I have 40 um, honors. We're getting close to increasing the size of one of our units, which I think is what we're going to save for next. Because um, everything else is at max height. What can we hire here? Thieves, knights, and wizards. Okay, I'm going to really quickly jump over to where the angel is. Good luck in your in your game, by the way, those of you that are currently in Nebula's Fleet Command. And let's um, see what we can buy here. So I have six divine, divine uh, thingies. Um, do we unlock anything new? Templar's Great Shield. He's looking for HP recovery. Okay, TLDR on the game, Gimmickin. That's a good point. We need to recap what's happened. So, uh, essentially, what's happened so far in this game, uh, it is a strategy game, which kind of works like a... Um, did I say Phantom Brigade? Wow. My brain is all over the place this morning. It's a strategy game that kind of works like an auto-battler, and you set up your units in little little squads, and when they get into a fight, they play through a script to fight each other. Uh, but the story is that uh, our mum was a queen of one of the kingdoms in the kingdom. I'll show you the, the world map. Uh, hang on a second. So this is the world map. Our mother was the queen of Cornea, and she was deposed by one of her generals. And, uh, and one of her last acts was to put her son on a horse with one of her knights, and they fled to this little island here. In the meantime, that general took over the entire world using magic. We grew up, and now we're slowly trying to reclaim the world. And we're just trying to raise... Um, we're just trying to, to raise an army to... Uh, like an, an army of rebellion, which is going pretty well so far. Uh, we're seeking to grab a lapis pe uh, pendant uh, form format. What's a lapis pendant do? Base PP plus one. That is a very good buy, but I don't have enough Divine Shards. But I think I'll maybe save up for one of those. That does seem like a very, very good pickup. There's also maybe worth getting our hands on a Hallowed Cornash, but we have one. So as long as we have one, I think we're good. Uh, yes, uh, Final Brigade is definitely a game that had huge potential, and I think failed to deliver on it, unfortunately. I think that's definitely a way to look at it. Right, we were looking at... Oh, that's right. Um... I was thinking about whether we actually go for the campaign mission, like the main campaign mission now that we've finished the demo, and I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, this is going to be a pretty big fight. I can't do it from the side, can I? I need to get over... I need to get to here um, to, com to complete the Priestess Abducted, which is going to get through this area. So I think this is the closest place I can get to. Yes, that's, there's a big part of what Mishap says is correct. A lot of subordinates are mind-controlled, and we've been rescuing some of our mother's old retainers and joining them into our army. So, um, we've got Elaine as our main character. Uh, he is very much protagonist-pilled. We've got Scarlet, who has been abducted. Uh, and then Yosef is the old knight that rescued us. Uh, Lex is our best childhood friend. Um, Hodrick is one of our uh, mother's old retainers. And pretty much everyone else is just a random we've picked up along the way. Right, we've got to do a mission up here, and then we can go to the Liberation, which I think is what we're going to focus on for this stream. We're going to get our best friend back. No, our best friend. We're going to get the girl back. So how, where do I have to go from here? It looks like I need to go right and then up. <laughs> yes, Elaine is collecting waifus. That's kind of what the, 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 seems to be their main point in this game. Let's see if we can avoid this patrol. I don't even really want to fight them right now. What's it about Phantom Brigade and Total Annihilation? You're going to have to forgive me, everybody. I'm going to be a little bit slow today. I had a pretty big night. Uh, ah, if it isn't the Knights of the Liberation, may I ask you a favor, good sir? You see, we've been having bandit troubles of late. As far as I can tell, they're using Fort Zakova as a base of operations to conduct raids on our village. We were hoping you folks might see fit to teach them a lesson and drive them off for good. Consider the problem dealt with. We'll not allow them to harm innocent civilians. You truly mean it? Oh, thank goodness, sir. You may be few in number, but there's a woman among them. Oh, they, they may be few in number, but there's almost as tough as they come, so watch out. Oh, apologies, but I couldn't help over here. Is it true you fight for the rebel army? It is. I'm Elaine, commander of the Cornerian Liberation. Yeah, Clive is now... Is Clive a rando? Clive is basically a rando. I mean, he's the leader of the rebellion in this area, I suppose. The crown prince himself. And the rumors are true. Forgive my lack of decorum, your highness. I'm the knight Mill, Mille, and I have a request for you. Should you ride to dispatch this bats, I beg you to take me with you. Oh, and why would you ask such a thing? I'm looking for someone. I believe her to be among their number. Ooh. 
Very well then, you seem more than capable of holding your own in battle, but know that you'll have to obey our every command if you wish to emerge unscathed. They are indeed both promising games that fell through. Of course, yes, to oh, uh, I thought you were talking about, well, not total annihilation, um, planetary annihilation. Is that what you mean, game of game? Yeah. Okay, we've got another side quest here, but I, want, I really wanted to try and go for the primary quest, which is this guy here. So I'm going to save the game, in case this goes badly. Okay, and let's get some, let's, let's sit back and I can have some coffee while the game actually talks to us. I'm honored you've come, your highness. It's another waifu. Miriam, right this way. Okay. It's truly an honor, your majesty. I am Miriam, humble servant of the Knights of the Rose. Your order answered directly to my mother, yes? But I fear I don't recall ever meeting you. I, I hope I've not offended. You've not. I think her armor looks pretty good, apart from the thighs. If she's, uh, if she's mounted, she'd need better leg armor. And what of Kitra? She went ahead to scout the city, but we've since lost contact. In sooth, I worry for her safety. In sooth? Times such as these make me thankful for Fran and her griffin. They Ooh, a griffin knight. And scour the ground as we speak. Then we may leave the search to her. But what about us, my prince? Joseph has readied an encampment in a nearby field. We make for battle as soon as preparations allow it. And if Renault is truly bound by the same magic Hodric was, the ring should release him with little issue. I just noticed that, Miss Epps. I didn't realize she didn't have the rest of her helmet. Scarlet with her. She just has the visor. I love the armor in this game. I love the character design. It's hilariously amazing. Our preparations are complete, Your Highness. We stand ready to deploy at your command. In that case, allow me to ride ahead to the rendezvous point. I shall meet with Fran and Kitcher myself. Understood. Be careful out there. She's a cyborg. Renault was once a brother of arms to be my prince. I can attest that he was a bold and powerful knight. This battle will doubtless prove d uh, difficult. I advise we plan our moves carefully. Okay. Before we march for you, kid, my prince, allow me to offer a word of counsel regarding our tactics. Press start on the overall menu, select character list, and navigate to load up to edit character's tactics. Okay. Now then, allow me to enlighten you on the proper usage of tactics. So here's our, here's our scripting tutorial. The tactics will you said determine when a character will use what skill and who they will target. If you proceed without a planned tactic, your soldiers will generally confront the enemy directly before them. Yet if you wish to fight with a greater efficiency, I suggest you set conditions to determine who they'll target. Consider one of Elaine's active skills, Lean Edge. Elaine will recover HP if he defeats an enemy using that skill. Hence, targeting the enemy with the lowest HP makes it more likely he'll defeat his foe and trigger the healing effect. That makes sense. Yes, having a tactic in mind should make engaging our foes a more straightforward task. Indeed. Now, when choosing tactics, you must always pay close attention to the priority of the actions listed. On a character's turn, they use the highest skill in the priority list with conditions that have been met. For example, if Yosef is assigned the tactic shown above, he will attack with Slice no matter what. This means he will never use Heal to aid his allies. In other words, the skills that like our soldiers to use first should be assigned higher in priority. Just so. The more narrow the conditions for the skills used, the higher priority I suggest you give it. By adjusting the priority of his tactics as shown as above, Yosef will use Heal if an ally has less than 50 HP, otherwise he will attack with Slice instead. Use the square button of the tactics menu to change the order of tactics. Worry not, your highness. There's no need to demand perfection of yourself from the outset. Experiment with a wide range of tactics to start. You will surely understand better with practice. Ah, and if you wish to test out a new idea, you may take in mock battles at any fortress under our control. Thank you, Yosef. I'll be sure to keep all of this in mind. All right, that is actually a really good point. Um, so Lean Edge, so great question. Um, Lean Edge does recover HP, but it recovers another 25% if you get the kill. So it is actually a really good point to get him to target the enemy with the lowest HP. And you can see just how many triggers there are for conditions here. We can trigger, we can um, set a, we can have two conditions on every ability and they can be on formation situation, combatant type, HP. So for instance, we could get our um, witch here to put, well, she's actually already set to prioritize armored enemies. Um, what I also want to do here, another good one to do is actually to get, I've already done it, is to get um, Clive to attack the enemy with the lowest HP because Assaulting Lance gives him another attack if he kills somebody with it. Um, that's a really good opening um, set up here. That was all I have to say, Your Highness. Let's move on to Rescue Scarlet. Oh, I don't have to skip the cutscene. 
that's actually a good point, mishaps, that reenactors wear that kind of stuff. Um, I was gonna have a quick look through our unit formations. Um, let's just make sure everyone else has appropriate skills assigned. So Hodrick, um, can I do it from here? No, this is to move it around. Here we go. So Hodrick currently has True Thrust, which prioritizes scouts units. Um, he has Sting, which attacks a single enemy, which he'll never use because he's always gonna use True Thrust over it. So True Thrust does less damage, um, but it will always hit. So what I think I wanna do, can I change this? so that it only hits enemies that have high evasion. Is that going to happen? I don't think I can prioritize that. Attack type, unit size, own condition, own HP, enemies present. So I want to maybe say if there's a scout present, activates only when there are scout enemies present. Because they're the only ones that are going to dodge, right? So I can say only attack if there's a scout present and then prioritize scout. Cause it's because it'll miss otherwise. And then everyone else you use sting on. And I'll I think that's what we want. I'm not sure. And then I might actually kick you Yusuf out of this group and put our new wizard in here, just so that they're getting some experience. <laughs> why why can't you think of the that the the color purple? Um and then that's fine for this soldier. I think I might kick you out. I need to go back to here for. Um, we might throw Ock in just to give Ock some experience. Oh, I really like the animation where Ock's and enchanting his staff. Um, then Sharon's unit here. We've got... Um, that's right, Sharon's unit is a unit that, that uh, follows around and heals. We don't need to worry about their tactics. And then Albin's unit. Um, let's see, you've got passive steel. You want to use that on... I don't think there's anything really special about that. I don't think there's anything special we need to do there. What's this between Crush and Smash? So Smash does increases... Inflicts physical defense minus 20% and Crush inflicts stun. I think I'm pretty... Steel does more damage against minus 50% HP enemies. So you can prioritize wounded enemies. Does it? Okay, hang on. I didn't catch that. Plus 50 percent Yes, you're right about that. So what we want to do is prioritize... Can I actually prior... I just want to say a lowest percentage HP, don't I? Yes, we've got the Mummy Issues Wizard. Uh, probably going to be going for about two hours, Game McCain. I know it's going pretty slow at the start here, but this is all stuff I've avoided doing because uh, in previous teams I've had a time limit. I didn't mean to close the information screen. So uh, in it, we will be speeding up. Uh, you've got Heavy Slash. Even People who've only got one ability, I'm not that worried about. Um, nobody's using the, the Fang. You can use Swords. So every slash does 150 damage, um, hit rate 100%, or I can replace it with Viper Fang, which does... So if I replace the Viper Fang here, this is 100 but inflicts poison. Um, I, think I, I think I'll just stick with the standard sword, actually, on you. That's fine. I think I'm just going to leave that there. Let's, let's, get, let's get a mission started. Let's see. Oh, we've actually got a... Um, Okay, can't, we need to deploy the stage. So we've got warriors, hoplites, and wizards. The, after the Zenoran Knight Reno takes Scarlet captive in a surprise attack, Elaine and the Liberation hasten to capture the walled city of Yukit and rescue Scarlet from Zenoria's five clutches. Let's go. <laughs> well, now she has a sword, if that's any help with mishaps. Oh, we should buy. I should maybe off stream buy a bunch of stuff. Oh, no. Griffin Knight. You all right? I am now, thanks. I made it into the city, no problem. But it wasn't long till they caught me snooping. Night booties. I turned back in a swiped key later, though, and I was out of there. At least until they napped me again. Anyway, there's no time. I don't know what it is, but something's happening in there. Something big. They've got soldiers crawling all over the place. Some of them even got shipped in from the capital. Red Alert 2 is an amazing game. We'll alert Miriam at once. But first, we should get out of here before more of your friends decide to emerge from the shadows. Gonna heist kick it off. Good luck everybody in the heist. Oh, that's a job we need to do is to change the wording of the heist to fit the channel. That's an actual world city, this is cool. The Gryffindor armor was something else, wasn't it? Hello, my liege. And I am 
Oh, it's the big bad guy. The sanctuary and its accursed sea. The sanctuary. Oh, wait. This is new information. Then the hour is upon us. Whatever treachery you're planning, I won't be a part of it. Mind your tongue if you wish to keep it, child. You stand before the glorious emperor of all of Feverith. Pay her no mind. She'll greet death's cold embrace soon enough. Then allow me the honor of introducing them when that time comes. <laughs> uh, our background is awesome. I like those suits of armor. Be it. Lord Renault, I bring urgent word. Speak. It's the rebels, my lord. I think soldier armor works, mishaps. This guy here. Seems our cell swords weren't quite as indomitable as they claimed. You're dismissed. It's very weird. He's probably not real. The sanctuary will demand time. See to it that I'm not interrupted. Gravelly, threatening voice. Not a single rebel shall be spared my spear. Ooh, I like that. Spared my spear. That's a nice, nice sentence. Be safe, Elaine. Oh my goodness! Everyone just died in the in the heist. <laughs> Rip, F's in chat for the heisters. <laughs> Those rebels shall take another step towards exalted Emperor Galerius. I shall see to that myself. With me, men, we crush them here and now. Oh, this is a, okay. Quite a lot of units. My friends, I'm relieved to see you both unharmed. Right back at you. But we don't have time to sit here catching up. They'll be on us in any second. Then we meet them head on, with steel in hand. Looks like they have sorcerers too. In that case, I ask you to leave them to me. My blade will make quick work of them. I swear to you both, this time I shall protect you. Radiant Knight. With our high magic defense, Radiant Knights are quite effective against witches and wizards. Okay. The three of them will certainly be of use in the battle ahead, Your Highness. Command the unit however you see fit. Okay, they're very cut off from us. But of course, now then, Scarlet awaits. Okay. So we lose if the, the, this is defeated, we win if we defeat Renault. Pretty straightforward. Okay, the game, I've found the menu option that pauses the game at the start of a mission so I can actually, this is a big map. So we've got a bunch of units here. We can travel through this forest. There's a town to capture here. Um, I do not even know what... I've never come across a divine effigy as before. There's a choke point here. Um, there's an encampment which lets us heal, which is quite nice. Then we're coming up through here. There's a back alley canyon here that leads to a battering ram. Deals massive damage to gates, destroys barricades in one hit. Okay. So we're going to have to battering ram our way through the gates. Quite a lot of defenders here. We've got wizards on a watchtower as well, which is going to be annoying. And then we also have Fran's unit here in the back area, which is going to be a little bit annoying. There's some ruins here. I can maybe just get them into the ruins and they can defend themselves in the ruins. Um, so we've got a Griffin Knight who can fly, um, a Radiant Knight who can cure poison, and then we've got um, Kitra, who is some sort of big beefy warrior so the question is do i put them excuse me in the obel runes or do i just attack i don't think they're going to do a ton of damage on the attack sexy witch counter isn't actually active um i could turn it on doctor doctor if you're desperate hang on i forgot to make it live there you go the sexy witch counter is now live it just wasn't it the the command is exclamation mark witch and then plus or minus. All right, um, so if we attack here, they'll take these guys out. Actually, they will be really good against everyone apart from the garrison, so let's just send them in. At once. Okay, now let's see who we're deploying. So we're first of all dealing with hoplites and lanchnecks. Uh, so let's see, I probably will probably drop in a lanes unit, because um, they're gonna be really useful. We're gonna bring in Hodrick's unit, because we need the defense. I really want to get... We'll bring Sharon's unit in to do some healing. Um, and then what else do we want to bring in? Obin or Lex? 
I really like that Shaman we picked up. Let's bring Lex's unit in, and we'll bring Auburn in when we got some more CP. All right, let's see how everyone does against this unit here. So you'll do nothing against them. You'll not do that much against them. Oh, no. You will not do much against them. Let's send Elaine's unit in first, and then we'll bring Sharon's unit in behind, and we'll just bring all our other units in up behind them. All right, let's go. Mission engaged. So only only a mod can put the counter up for some reason. I haven't been able to fix that. Um, so those of you looking for Sexy Witch up can't actually get involved in that. Uh, it'll have to be TRM or Mishaps. I didn't mean to do that. Do I want to go into a healing assist? We're going to take a lot of damage here. It's because that guy is in the front row. But I think this is the right way to do it. Unless, how's Lex's unit going to do? Yeah, I think we're going to go in with these guys. Oh, thank you very much, TRM. <laughs> My magic is yours. That's him now, which is good. No, we didn't take too much damage there. It could have been much worse. Good old Yana. Alright. Oh, there you go. We got an achievement. Three birds, one stone. Okay, they're going to do a little bit of damage. How shall I proceed? Okay, lots of achievements coming in. Uh, we're going to send Hodrick's unit in next. And we're going to make sure Sharon's unit keeps coming forward. And I'm going to hold Elaine's unit back. I'm here. Now, there's another unit coming up behind... You guys are going to take quite a lot of damage engaging them. March. Okay, you guys are going to do a lot of damage to them, so let's cut you up here. Oh. Let's see how Franz goes. Yeah, I've got, I've got a witch. Don't worry, Miss Apps. I'm, I'm on top of this. Oh, I really like the uh, animation of her standing on her hammer. That was really cool. Mm -hmm. Tip for the sexy witches. YouTube's got me looking for the sexy dark elves, mind you. Do I, need a, face. do I need a sexy dark elf counter, TRM? <laughs> do we need that as well? Thank you so much for the, um, the super chat. I really, really appreciate it. You're the best. It seems you've misjudged me. Okay, so let's take this unit on as well. Now back down here. I'm not sure if Hodrick's unit's going to get there in time, which is a little bit concerning. Uh, so I can do relay to here. And we'll bring you guys up. Oops. Sure thing to here as well yes, sir. and then we'll bring the our clerics up to here too could be more thirst Look, check out check out the animation of the girl with the hammer at the back at the start of the battle it's one of the best animations i've seen so far which is her with her foot on the um hey <laughs> hey tavian good to see you guard seal she's got regeneration as well and she recovers PP on attacks. Uh, well, are we going to talk about the fact that the, the Magic Knight has a skill called PP Up? Okay. Now the problem is, is this group can't attack this base. So we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to pull them back to here, and then we're going to put them into this base, I think. Because they're also being chased by Griffin Knights from behind. Um, how will they fare against the Griffin Knights? Not particularly well, so let's actually get them to the ruins ASAP. This is a this is a concern, a very big concern that they're being chased by Griffin Knights. <laughs> also, we've got some Griffin Knights coming in on our units over here as well. Your villainy ends here. Let's join our strength. Okay, why are we so low on damage? It looks like um oh Elaine's gonna get wiped out by this attack, unfortunately. But I still think it's the best option. I'm here to help. <laughs> oh, cool ass. Nice work there, Clive. Wow, that was a big hit. Yeah, we're gonna lose a lane here. Oh, he survived with one hit point. Another kill for Clive.
Looks like cinder block hammers are just a thing now. That's a level up for Yana, which is great. Ooh, magic attack plus one, magic defense plus one, accuracy and evasion. That's a great level up from her. I'm happy to see that. Okay, we also have another um, point. So let's, ooh, you know what we could do? I could actually deploy units here once we capture this. Let's hold that and we'll get um, Elaine's un uh, a unit up there and that might help us out a little bit. Okay, I'm happy with everyone's movement right now. Let's just keep moving forward. All right, who's gonna finish this unit off? Not you. You could do it. Oh, okay, that's annoying. Hodges unit is out of range. Let's just send in a lane unit with some healing. Go on then. <laughs> yeah, if this is your first time on uh, one of these streams, Steven, they get a bit thirsty because of the sexy witches, I think. The Kirk Hammer. You know what? I'm desperate for Bloodburn to hit PS5 so I can play through it. I'm having so much fun playing Elden Ring again. I need, be, I need to be careful I don't rely on this unit too much. But it is a very good unit. Okay, they're down. Oh, let me plug in my controller. There'll be a bit of noise when I grab the cable. Oops, sorry about that. That was night blood falling on the floor. If you know what that sword is, then there's a... Don't know why I brought that up. Okay, plugged in. Let's go. So, we do have an issue with this squad here. How's Lexington? Oh, Lexington squad will take care of them. That's fine. We need to rest our clerics soon. They're running a bit low on HP. Now, one thing I'm noticing here is we have a unit about to attack our base. So, I'm going to send a lanes unit back to defend it. And if I have to, I can garrison. Is it not sexy enough? Okay. <laughs> Um, how are we doing over here? These guys are going to make it. Okay, I don't know. Where, I think don't know where these guys are going. They don't seem to be chasing us. We just need to be really careful about a back cap from these griffins. If they back cap us, we're going to lose the battle instantly. All right, Lexington's first engagement of this mission. I love passive curse. The shaman has such a great ability. Oh, Chloe with the big hits. And Lex leveled up. Just leave it to Lex. More initiative on Lex. Lex is desperate for more initiative. He needs it so badly. And physical attack up. That's great. Told you I'm awesome. See? Lex, Lex knows he's awesome. Okay. So next job is to get through this forest and take this area out. So let's move everyone up to the edge of the forest. Yes, sir. How shall I proceed? At once. And we're going to rest our clerics there, I think. I advance. Let's just see how this plays out with the Griffin Knights. Okay, you guys are healing up here. Acquired a Jew of skill, that's excellent. So I can, I believe, now deploy units from here. No, I can't, it's not a proper city. All right, let's move you out. You're not gonna do great against these guys. That's the problem, you kinda need to hide from these griffins. I think they might be heading for my base. We might need to leave the base garrison for this mission. Yeah. Okay. You guys heal up. So Lex is not great against the land snacks. Grabbing the Divine Effigy might be nice, but we also have to deal with the fact that there is a watchtower here. Let's bring you up to the edge of their range and we'll let everyone else catch up. I'm going to be aware that there is a time limit to this mission. Um, you can, uh, miss after you've hired them, I don't know if you can after you've hired them, we'll need to check that out, but you can't touch the little characteristics of any of the named characters. Oh wow, this is going to be a really hard fight for these guys. Hmm. Not good. These Gryphonites are going to cause me a big problem. How do we get around this? <laughs> That's a grandma, yeah. Hmm. Oh damn, you lost the Nebulous game. We're about to lose this fight. I don't know what to do here. This is going to be really, really bad. Uh, we're going to have to hope that Albin can pull us out of this. My magic is yours. Yeah, okay, they're hard to hit. 
We need archers is what we need. And I don't have any archers currently in any of my units. Nice work. Oof. You protected the knight instead of protecting the witch. You should have protected the witch. Okay, this is not great. Uh, let's deploy. We've only unit we've got left is Albin's unit. So we have to hope that they can do something here. Oh yeah, <laughs> they can wipe them out. No running. I don't have any uh, units with archers set as a primary. I'm just too short on unit slots, but we do have good old PP Stealer. Easy, good work team. Okay, we might leave this unit back in defense just to deal with any Griffin Knights that come over the top. Because I think there's more Griffin Knights coming. Yeah, this squad's coming. Oh, actually, is there a way through here? There is a way through here. Oh, fascinating. I didn't realize that. That's a secondary attack vector. Uh, let's grab this. Um, so we can actually move up here. So can I send you guys to intercept these Griffin Knights? Or are they going to come over the top? Definitely did an AA unit. You're right, Mishaps. Oh, there's a unit hidden. There's a unit of archers hidden in the forest here. So you can hide units in forests as well. I'm learning all sorts of things in this battle. I really like shamans. I want a shaman in every unit. They're such a great support unit. Yeah, Lex can take this group this group out really easily. Just gonna watch out for that range support. Now, what's going on over here? I want to keep an eye on this combat. They're gonna get hit. They're gonna get hit by the wizards here. PP down, exactly. If I had more uh, resources, I'd like commission a voice actor to do a PP down emote, and then we can have a voice emote, and a PP up one as well. There we go. That's that archer unit taken care of. Good work, Lex. Best unit in the game. <laughs> Let's capture this and see what happens when we do. Activated Divine Effigy's Effect if we pray. Someone's Divine Cyclone. Sure. That sounds powerful. Hodrick's still moving forward. You guys are healing. The Griffin Knights are coming. Oh! Okay, there is so much, <laughs> so much going on back at base. This statue holds an immense power. What is it, actually? A Divine Effigy, or so-called. In times of old, shamans use them to entreat the heavens for blessings of rain. Yeah, no, that isn't... This, oh, that... Whatever. Though given the vast spiritual energy within, I expect praying at its feet would grant you more than a few stray drops of water. By selecting prayer to divine effigy, you can summon a miracle in the form of weather. There are several different types of divine effigy, so be sure to try praying at any you come across. <laughs> you don't, didn't miss it, Notonius. You just thought people were going pee-pee. <laughs> okay, I'm... This is, this is getting really serious over here. Uh, we're going to have to send this unit in here first. Sure, the proper response is sitting with something of divine wrath. If Mummy chooses a ranged fighter, how many of the woods is good for an ambush, maybe? He is a ranged fighter, but um, he's not the leader of the squad. One thing we need to remember is a lanes unit can stay back here, and they, they actually have the ability to travel, teleport to en uh, any, any player, any of my other units, so they can hold back here and defend. But there's um, a lot going on back here. I think we need to get we need to take out this base. This we need to, we need to get hold of Groupon Town, and then we can set up a defensive perimeter here. And then the only place enemies are spawning from is the command point. We've also already used what one sixth of our battle time, and we haven't captured anything yet. So I'm a little bit concerned on how long this is taking. You know, a lance next here. How's Hodrick going to do against them? We'll send Hodrick in, and we'll just make sure that the clerics don't go too far hard. Get the darkest dungeon voice actor saying PP up. <laughs> Yeah, they're called passive points, exactly. Look what I found. 5,000 war funds, okay. Hang on. Okay, where did you come from? Oh, they, they ran around the outside. That's fine. Uh, Elaine Judah can take care of the Zenorian cavalry. Go on, then. Yeah, Tyler, that's the plan. That is the plan. Full, full game, longer streams. Um, I need to... Tonight my time or tonight your time, Tavian? 
There are indeed active points. They are called AP. I got you. Heading there now. There's another unit of Gryffindites coming in. Okay. I stand ready. Can you guys start attacking this? I'm worried about how hard you're going to find this fight. We need to do something about Group on Town. I think I'm going to hit it and then go and heal. At once. We need to do something. Meanwhile, over here, you're about to start praying. That unit of Lanschnecks has disappeared. Oh, there's a, there's a magic circle down here of some kind. All right, let's unpause. What should I do there they are. Okay, we found them. So, uh, what next? Oh, I can... Oh, oh, oh. Would I, did anyone order some Divine Wrath? Okay, we just summoned a, a Cyclone. Um, can you guys... No, not, not pray. I want you to move and take this unit out. Yes, sir. And then you're about to fight there, and then we've got stuff going. Yeah, so the the main difference I've seen, Nodja, Nodja, uh, also welcome to the stream, is that there... It, I'll address your comment in a second here, Ram. Um, is that there's more censorship in the stream version. So there was a witch in the Switch version that I saw that had a cloak and then in the ps5 version she didn't have the cloak that's the main thing i've seen tram the reason i'm thinking about tapping the town and getting out is it'll stop the town from spawning units and instead the units will heal for a couple of turns and that'll just buy me a little bit of time where i'm not dealing with the pressure that i'm dealing with over here because there's just a constant stream of units coming in uh unpause i don't think we need to do any any healing support here yeah that's maybe a good idea tram actually Oh, that's right, they s Look at this, the AI sending out units with healers. There goes Mummy Issue's first attack of the battle. Oh, what killed her there? Why did she take 20 damage? Big hits on our hero there. Whew. There's a lot going on here. This is, this is the most complex fight we've had so far in this game. Okay, let's make sure you are close enough to heal. Keep pressuring these guys. I'm going to send the Griffin Knight squad. So it was a, if she did get down to these Griffin Knights, if you can get there in time. It's not huge censorship. I just think Nintendo don't want scantily clad witches on the Switch, which I guess makes sense. Although I think there's some weird games in the Switch store. So yeah, definitely good idea to have high initiative wizards. Okay, Alvin Jun is gonna wipe this cavalry out very quickly. Sorry for those those crunch sounds, by the way. That's my desk falling apart. Hey Zach, thanks for dropping by. Awesome, no worries. Thank you for coming by and saying hi. Okay, good luck with um, Hell Divers. And I probably will be around later. Something, something sexy, witch. <laughs> okay, so we've got a unit of Griffin Knights coming in, which we'll just try and block from here. Uh, this people here are moving forward. So the the cyclone has actually knocked the wizards out of the tower. That's wild. Okay, Gryffindor combat. You're done for. Yeah, I initiative. Everybody's good, right? Oh, he missed the PP steal. Gryffindors are hard to hit. I want to get some Griffin Knights on my team. Well done, Alvin. Not Alvin. Nice, good hit. Damn. It's Travis, that's right. Not Alvin. Alvin's the guy with the axe. Okay, you guys keep working here. No, the desk is just falling apart. I'm really annoyed about it. So if I, if I lean on it, it makes this noise that the mic picks up, that noise there. So I can't actually lean on the desk. This squad's doing well. <laughs> Using a lot of stamina here, though. <laughs> That's true. Look, Travis. Travis has been pretty amazing so far, so I just assumed they could handle it. Is that all? Yeah, more for me. All right, this is an important fight. We need to win this, which is going to be a bit tough because we're not actually doing as much damage as I hoped we would, but we have to take these wizards, these wizards out before they can drop a fireball on us. 
Bye bye, PPs. Yes, that's exactly kind of it, Nodja. With the um, the ranged attack as well, the, the attack that hits the whole row. Ooh, that's a nasty burn. No, it's literally just literally my table falling apart to your M. That's right, we can we can res lax. So I can use I don't think they're in range, but I can use a that's just a heal. I think it's actually Chloe. Actually Chloe is in the squad, but I think Chloe can life aid and bring Lex back to life. And then we'll send them in again to take these guys out. Okay, you're gonna finish them off. You're moving forward. We've got an engagement about to happen again here. Yeah, you guys finish that off. A lane unit is slowly healing back to full health. We've got a unit of cavalry heading in. Can you guys take out the cavalry for me? Yes, you can, excellent. Okay, we'll do that. You guys are healing. We're taking a long time. How good is the cyclone? Oh, we got the PP steal. Oh, and the axe hit. <laughs> and Albert with just the, the big scream. Crit attack, crit rate is nice. Magic attack is useless on Travis, as far as I'm aware. All right, we need to rest this unit. So I'm going to move them down here and rest them. Just so that nobody runs into them. Uh, are you guys going to win this? Yes. Check how much health uh, we're going to heal here on Lex. For those of you going, we've got one health. He'll, Lex really needs one health, because Lex is a king. Boom, regenerate eight health before his turn even starts. Takes out the enemy. Gets healed by Chloe. Back to back in the battle. Level up from Chloe, nice. Uh, ooh, good, good level up. Physical attack, physical defense, magic defense, and evasion. I like that. Now we have a problem, because these Griffin Knights are coming after Lex's unit. Uh, let's get our guys in the watchtower, just because that'll help them out a little bit. PP restored. Dark still side effect. Yeah. <laughs> um, these people lost their target. Oh, they're still chasing them. That's good. Um, there's a lot to keep track of. They've been pushed out of the town, which is good. You're about to finish these guys off. You are about to run out of stamina. Crap. Okay, let's pull you way back. Oh, no. I know what I can do. I can give you some smoke nuts. We'll have to give you some smoke nuts here. Okay. I'm just going to skip this fight. We know what's going to happen. No. Lex is a king. <laughs> I don't want to call you out directly, TRM. Okay, right. We want to take this town. Looks like you're okay against both of these units. Try to take the Landschnecks out first. Let's bring the clerics up to here. And then Lex's unit can take that garrison. Over here, you need to recover PP. Stamina even. He didn't manage to make it in, but you should be fine. <laughs> it's a great it's great that it only targets enemies. That's why you know that the gods involved here, M. <laughs> Miss Apps. <laughs> As you said it, someone made the comment. That's hilarious. I forgot to use the smoke nuts! I forgot to use the smoke nuts. Okay, I think I can use them now, though. There we go. And now, we'll get you to finish this squad off, and then you can rest. Uh, okay, this is going to take a while for these guys to get over here. We'll also have to deal with these two units. There's a lot going on. I'm really worried about how much stamina everybody has. Everybody's getting really tired. Apparently, they do in, in, in this universe, apparently they are pretty good at it. We're just going to wipe this unit out. Now, there's a squad coming, but I'm going to have to make uh, a hope that Lex's unit can rest before they arrive. Sylvie leveled up. That's a good level up from them. So, I'm going to put... I'm going to rest you and hope that you get recovered in time. Um, I think Elaine's unit's ready to move out, actually. So, we're going to send them north. To me. And then we're going to send Albin's unit north as well. If something happens, we can teleport back. So it's not the end of the world. Oh no, actually, you guys need to rest. Okay, you found the... Okay, I was really worried there because this is a unit of archers out of nowhere, but I think we'll get the first attack, so it's fine. 
If I hadn't spotted them, they would have killed the Gryphon Knight. I really like the Gryphonites. Heresy? Exactly, Miss Saps. If you know about the Divine Hurricane Shrine, you probably build your town to defend against the Divine Hurricane Town, right? Uh, we're going to let um, this unit rest. Uh, you guys are resting. We're moving up here. I wonder if I just rest both of these units? Because there's a lot going on. No, we need to deal with these guys because they're coming for us. Oh, we found more. Nothing. Finding so many units in this forest. I really like her putting her foot on the cinder block hammer. I just think it's very cool. Good guards. Nice. This squad, this squad is doing work. They're doing a lot of work here. They've got one more fight in them than they need to rest. We've got four Valor points. I need to make sure I'm using them. And what have we got over here that we can use? We've got Fortress, we've got Life Aid, and we've got Blaze. Hmm. Do I want to do a Blaze before we hit this squad? I probably want to do a Blaze on that squad there. Exactly, TRM. Yeah, I I'm really surprised how many baddies there are in the Forest of Babbies. <laughs> No, I think it is the Forest of Babies. We've got Toughness, Negate Stamina also at end of battle, knock back enemy unit after battle. Um, that could actually be really good to put... I can only put it on this unit. I can't target another unit with it. That's annoying. Uh, I'm really worried about this unit here, but if I have to, I can make them take a smoke nut before they finish recovering. Magic Wood. <laughs> Miss <me> <laughs> okay, Miss Epps. Departing. So, this unit is too slow. Okay, we found the Knights. Not the best result, but we'll be fine. I'm here to help. I feel like these knights' armor is pretty good. A few hits on a lane there. Almost going to level up on Elaine, which is nice. All right, you engage these guys. You need to rest. We'll just put you over here to rest. You are resting. Um, very worried this unit is going to get overwhelmed. Very, very unit. Um, so this unit is too slow to catch this unit. And they are going to get to Lexington. Seven seconds left on the rest. Um, focus on these guys. Did you need me? You come here, and we're going to have to just keep it a close eye here. You face me. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. A lance, a lance knight unit would be nice. But at least they're using spears, I guess, and not, I don't know, something a little bit more ridiculous. That's a good point. Yeah, TRM. Shield up all the time, not just when you're using your PP. Okay, that's another unit take out. And your guys are coming in here. Let's hit them with some healing assist. I like that his shield has our actual coat of arms on it. Oh dear, Kules. Party blows nasty. So many attacks on um, these guys. A victory for the liberation. This is a slog. This fight, I'm really struggling to make any ground here. Are you guys going for a lane, Lex's unit? I don't think you are. This unit is. How long does Lex have left? Four seconds. Um, they're about to produce a new unit. Let's just rest you here. Let's get you moving north. Um, I'm really worried. Oh, these rebels have come far enough. Onward, Griffins. Oh, cool. I just spawned an enemy attack. Employ your superior mobility and overrun their vanguard. So we've got new units moving forward. Amazing. 
We're not making a lot of ground, I don't feel like. We're also really low on stamina. Really low on stamina. Um, if we can take these guys out, we can rest, I think. It's very busy. Yeah, busy, busy, as, busy AF. Indeed. Okay, you guys are all resting. Haste and call. Crystal mobility of an allied unit by 100%. Oh, I don't have time for that. All, force are water, all wars are fought over PP, but not all wars are fought to restore PP. When will the men learn that his action has consequences? That's I'm, that's my plan, Lightning. To stop, stop the respawns. Okay, we can take these guys out. We don't need to use a heal. I'm just going to skip the combat. Okay, they're dead. Now, the problem we've got... Level up and reset. Not great. The problem I've got here is both of these units are on one stamina. I really need to get them rested. But it's going to take a while. But I have to do it. Lex has two seconds left on their rest, but these guys are right here. I've got no more units to call in, and most of my fancy powers are over here. Unfortunately. Increase move of an ally unit. Deploy a sigil that reduces damage taken by 20%. Damage enemies within range. That's only got this range here, okay. So, over with this group here. I've got access to uh, Taunt, Revive All Incapacitated Units, and Improve Visibility in an area so you can see Stealth Units. Then I've got access down here to um, Restore 50% of HP or Negate Stamina Loss. And then on this unit here, I've got Negate Stage Damage Suffered by an Allied Unit. Um, revive All Incapacitated Opponent Comments and Damage All Enemy Units in Range. Actually, that's huge. That's actually really huge. We're going to drop that on these guys. Did that do anything? It did. It just didn't look like it did anything. Um, okay. We're probably going to have to use some smoke nuts here. I think we can use smoke nuts before we go into combat, though. So I think we're okay. We're so close to them finishing resting. Yes, they're back in action. That's huge. That's huge. Say goodbye to your PP. Nice, we got the cleric as well. Great work, team. Lexington is such a king. Absolutely amazing. Getting the heal off in time and then managing to pull that off. Finish them. Uh, how are things looking over here? That's taking a lot of pressure off me. That just happening there. We've got a, yet another unit about to spawn in the north. Oh, I see the blaze actually stays. That's pretty cool. You know what? I don't think I need to kill this unit. I think the blaze is going to kill. I have to. I have to engage them. Okay. I should have done that. So I didn't realize the blaze stays, which is a fun thing to say. So what we'll do is we'll actually drop another blaze on the base here. Reduce damage because they're there. It doesn't really matter. I still want to uh, just tick them with damage. So they don't spawn any units. Then Lex's unit needs to engage these guys. If they can catch up. Uh. Oh, here come the Griffin Knights at a million miles an hour. This is fine because Lex's unit can jump in to defend. Lex's unit can't jump in to defend. Oh no. Well, they would have to take a smoked nut here. So they have enough stamina to defend. Oh no, they're, they're still... They're still defending. Crap. So even without it, they're just going to take damage. <sighs> okay, Hodra took a lot of damage there. We need to get Lex's unit into this. It's like looking at a pachinko machine. Yeah, it is a little bit. Okay, you need to finish this unit off. Uh, this is a big problem because Lex's unit just isn't quite fast enough to catch them. The Griffin units are also Griffin are also coming in. Let's um. Do we want to drop another blaze? Let's drop a heal on this unit, in case they get attacked again. I live to serve. Okay, you are five seconds from coming back in the battle. You're five seconds from coming back into the battle. You're back in action. Let's get you moving north. Yep. Oh, they, the knights got past Lex. That's actually probably a good thing, because we can get this unit to deal with the knights. You got it. And then you guys are still healing. Okay. I've arrived. 
No. Oh no, I can't get anyone in to defend these guys. Ugh. This is what happens when you rest units, right? Lex is just too slow here. No one's dead, but we're, we're taking a lot of damage. Come on, Lex. I need you to get in here and to protect these people. They're going to slow down when they hit the forest. That's what I'm going to hope that Lex can, can help. Come on, Lex. Lex is still not in range. We're going to lose the clerics. Wait, we've lost the clerics. Lex just wasn't in range. Lex just couldn't catch up and save them. There's nothing here I can uh, I can use. If I bring him back to life, will they survive? Yeah, I'm gonna see if this helps with the recovery. No, they're still dead. Uh, that was a waste of a recovery item. All right. Well, there go our clerics. Unit wiped out. There is. Oh, there are. Uh, yeah, there are um, items that increase movement speed. Sorry, Sharon. Okay, and then they turn around to engage Lex. Um, I think I need to use some clever items here. Oh my god, I had silver hourglasses. I could have used those. Idiot. Uh, you don't encourage assist attacks. Last for one battle. Also, have conceding cloaks here. So I could have used a concealing cloak. Just made just made a few mistakes, unfortunately. The smoke nuts aren't gonna help here. It's just kind of a slog of a fight. Your body grows heavy. This wouldn't be as big of an issue if the speedy guys are weren't here. If those Griffin Knights weren't coming in. Oh, sorry for the bang. I put my arm on the table, on the desk. This is a hard fight. I can see it starting to slip from my fingers. We need to take one of these towns to stop the, the amount of units spawning, and we can maybe rest. Damn, that's a lot of damage Lex took. Ooh, we're poor up with Lex and Chloe. Okay, we're gonna have to take some smoke nuts on, oops, Lex's unit again. Oh, I didn't know I could scroll through units that way. Cool. Um, hang on a minute, pachinko mission time. So let's get you to take some smoked nuts. Well, that's our last smoked nuts. And then we're actually going to send you in against the Griffin Knights, which you can't hurt, but they also can't hurt you, which is fine. Um, and then you're back in action in two seconds. What's going on over here? There is a unit that we need to make sure we don't miss. So I'm just going to keep you on the edge of the battlefield. I don't know why I went into this battle. They're going to miss. Like It's going to be like miss, 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 but we're going to get a heal. Yeah, so it's just a defensive fight here. Are you okay? I should recover to some hit points. Although the problem is, is that we're now into one stamina. So if I send you against this unit, you can't even wipe them out. Oh, this is so bad. That's, I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do here. We are in such a bad situation. Yes, I want to bring you into the forest. You're back in one second. I was striking my desk in anger. And we can't deploy Sharon's unit ever again. There's also the, the, the there's a unit of knights in the forest that are going to cause me some problems if I'm not ready. At once. We actually, I might bring Fran's unit around and over here to help out. Because this is, this is just turning into a nightmare. Where is that unit of... of um, I see them. I found them. I was worried about these guys sneaking in and causing me huge issues. How are you going to do against these guys? Yeah, just just get in there, smash your face into them, um, and get get them into combat. Let's get the Griffinites over here to do something to stem the tide over on the right. This is just I can't. Okay, Hodrick's back. We can't hurt them. Uh, Lex needs to rest. You got it. No running. I do have a straight um, face as I say smoked nuts. Well, we got the passive. Yep. 
I've got YouTube live chat going um, up. So I'm, not, I'm going off the live chat, not this chat that hits an overlay. The, the overlay chat's delayed. I've got YouTube live feed open. Okay, keep keep fighting those guys, Lex. Uh, sorry, uh, Tyler. Not Tyler, Travis and Co. This is fine. This one's mine. I'm actually going to get Lex to do this engagement because they're going to do a lot of damage. If we can kill one of these guys, it's going to be good. And yeah, I'm going to use... I wouldn't, if, I, if I need to use the Hourglass, I will, but I'll try and avoid using it if I can. Hey, Don, good to see you. Welcome to the stream. It's very thirsty. So we got one of the Griffin Knights. Lex is proving his worth here. Doing a lot of tanking for us. Oh wow, Griffinites can heal themselves as well. Okay, you need to rest, and you need to take out that Griffinite. There's also another unit coming. Um, our Griffinites are heading over. You're going to take out these soldiers. You're going to attack this base. You're done for. You're done for. Oh, nice, a cherry soda. I could really do with a drink actually, but I think I'm going to take a break after this battle. Okay, we've used two sixth, two sixth of our time limit here. Um, I want to bring Albin up here. I think we need two units to take this side, but I'm hoping the Griffin Knights can turn the tide over here. Um, do we? I think I am going to use an Hourglass on Lex. We need to get him back in action. So he's going to waste rest for four seconds now. Where did that unit come from? You shall go no further. Where did those... This is going so badly. Hodrick should be able to defend Lex here. I'm on the edge of my seat right now. Oh, I just woke the dog up. <laughs> I shouted really loudly there. I think I woke everyone in the house up. Okay. Uh, Hodrick, you did take these guys out. Did I hit the desk as well? Oh dear. Yes, I do need more men on the east. We're sending the Griffinites over. Did I make a really big bang there? I'm really sorry if I did. I don't even think I hit the desk. I might have put my I might have put my elbow on it. I'm sorry if that came through. This is a pitiful end awaits. Okay. She'll go back to bed. She's exhausted. There's so much happening in this battle. <laughs> Pepperbock flares Renaissance flag. That's a good idea, Miss Apps. I don't know if I can do that in a fight. I'm sorry it was so loud. I'm so sorry. We've killed like a hundred squads, dear M. Okay, if I come in here, let's change True Thrust to... We'll change it to, rather than Condition 2 to Prioritize Scout. If I change Condition 2 to Prioritize Flying, does that mean he will attack Scouts and, enemy, and Flying Enemies with True Thrust? Okay. I'm really sorry if I hit the table. I have no memory of doing it. I'm not saying that I didn't, though. Right, we need to deal with these guys here. We also need to deal with these guys here. <sighs> I think I'm just going to hit them and hope the Griffin Knights take care of these guys here. So we just have to leave the, we'll leave the Griffin Knights to hover here and take them when they come out of the forest. We're about to have our first fight over here. Um, but what I'm going to do is... Oh, I can't. What was that? I mean, yeah, we don't have enough uh, Valor points for that. Let's Liquid Forge, doubles XP in gold, doubles on mill Ooh, we're going to use that in a second. Beckoning Chime, Wind Fairy's Crystal, non occurring incur assist attacks. Prove his ability. Teleport the unit. Oh, we've got a teleport ability. I should have used that. Um, there's nothing here I want to use on this unit, but on this unit, I am going to use a. Where is it? Where's the speed up item? Elite Feather. 
Kraken bombs are a very good idea. My D&D party should have come up with that idea and they didn't and they suffered for it. Especially when they were hunting a Kraken. It is a deficient plan. It is a deficient plan. You're right, Elaine. Damn. Uh, what can we do to tip the balance here? Not much, I don't think. I think we're just going to have to take the hit. We're probably... Who are we going to lose here? I guess we'll find out. You know what it was? I don't think it was the table. I think it was my chair. Because I'm literally doing everything I can not to touch the desk. That guy's a lot of health. Oh yeah, I can see Elaine's going to take a beating here. Ouch. Big hits. And then the guy's going to go... Okay, at least prevents his attack. And then, oh, the parting blows, of course. Big, uh, big oof. Big oof. Good defense. But it's all right, Elaine. You're, you're going to get back up again in just a second. Okay, we're going to... Use a revival orb to bring Elaine back. Um, when I get 50 honor, which is probably after this battle, I'll get four men per people, per squad. All right, you're moving, you're moving. You're on your way to attack the town. You're about to come back into the fight. All right, we're gonna send you, we're gonna send you in here too, because once Hodrick's unit's gone through, there should be a better opportunity here. Let's get a hold for a second. I want Hodrick's unit to go in first. You shall go no further. If we can take this town, this is going to be a big deal. If we can take this town, we can start to turn the tide. That's no damage at all. But oh, the fireball is going to be big here. Yes, big crit. Big hit, wow. Oh, come on, Hodrick, you can, you can hold. He died of fire damage. Ooh, Hodrick, you legend. Hodrick just holding on. Okay, how would will you guys do now? Still nothing. So we need to send Hodrick's unit in again. Because their wizard can do a lot of damage here. Um, let's send you guys up to here then. There is a unit in this forest, so we need to keep these guys here to find the unit. Actually, if I send them along here, they'll probably detect them. You're still heading north. You need to go in again, and you will win this fight. Um, okay, progress is happening. We are we are making making ground here. We're finally getting there. My magic is yours. Nice big heal for Elaine. And I'm really hoping that Clive just goes through these people. Yeah, Clive's gonna rip them to shreds. Most of my D&D games don't have um, gunpowder available. But magic is kind of used in that role instead. But we don't generally deal with very large combat actions anyway. Two people just hit level 10. What was that, Elaine? That's a terrible level. Oh, acquired a new skill. A new skill. Cavalry Slayer. Attack a single enemy, inflicts minus one AP, minus one PP, and guard seal if the target is cavalry. Wow, that is a huge level up for Clive. Attack a column of enemies with a piercing strike, inflicts stun. That was a huge level up. And guess what? We've captured an objective. Finally. Uh, let's get you up to here. We did it. We've captured the objective. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, you're about to attack here. You're moving up here. Is this going to be the win? Still not the win. The problem is, is they keep healing between fights. It's all about the fireball to kill this guy. Once he's down, it's going to be easy. And then we just need... Oh, Hodrick. Okay, can Hodrick's unit kill this guy? Oh, it's going to be an absolute murder, but we can do it. Right, where is this unit that's coming through the forest? There we go. I could flame the town guard, yes. It does 50% reduce damage against town guards, though.
I don't think anyone could afford to buy this one PP. Ooh, that was a nasty hit. Parting Blow is such a mean attack. Okay, you finish these guys off. I want to bring Lex back down here just in case this doesn't succeed. Uh, you guys are all good up here. So you're going to start healing and getting back stamina for taking the town. You must be the Liberation Army I've been hearing so much about. It's good to see you, Brave Knights. Acquired a Silver Hourglass. Cool. It seems you're in some hurry, though. Why not have your units withdraw from the battle? Do that, and you can redeploy them from any base under your control to really ca cut down on travel time. That's handy. And we recover a Valor Point for doing it. Hmm. Okay, I will definitely be doing that in the future. You're nothing. Okay. That was an, that's another threat dealt with. I did it. It seems you've misjudged me. Nowhere is too far. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pray here. Understood. And we're gonna pray at this squad here, and then we're gonna rest everybody. This is gonna be a really tight fight, but we should get the win here and take the town. The burns is what's probably going to kill her. Uh, I mean, she just went down and then she dies of the burn damage. <laughs> okay, we took the town. Level ups as well, which is nice. Not a bad level up on Hodrick. Not bad on Rosette. It seems I cannot. Okay, they don't have enough PP. Oh, jeez. Give me a jump. <laughs> Thanks, t -Ram. What triggered that? Oh, okay, we've taken two of the towns that are spawning us. Get cycloned. I stand ready. Get cycloned. And we've taken the other village. I have not unlocked any fox girls yet, no. I'm glad you've come, Liberation Sirs. Ten years ago, when Queen Elenia was lost to us, Lord Renault became a different man entirely. He's a vengeful ruler and a cruel one at that. I beg you, free us from his reign. Okay. Great. The gates of the city are locked up tight. We got any plans for getting in there, or are we just going to sit out here till they get bored? Don't worry, I've got a plan for that. The battering ram we hid in the woods should be more than enough to break us in. We'll just need to send someone over to man it. That's on you, my prince. Okay. I've done it. I managed to capture all the locations we needed to capture. Let's send uh, Lex up. And then we'll let everyone else rest. I think everyone over here is resting as well. Yeah, resting and healing. Okay. So now there's only one place enemy reinforcements can spawn from. At your service. Why don't we just do this again? Nope, I didn't mean to do that. Nowhere is too far. I should have used the cyclone more. I didn't realize you could just use it over and over again. It seems a bit insane. Oh, I've already rested time. I just rested them again when they'd already rested them. Sure thing. What's this, Lex? Take a, look at that. a steel trap. Ooh. Interesting. I can set that on a choke point, and the enemy would have to walk through it, I'm guessing. Okay, so everyone here is healing. Let's get um, Alain's unit on the move. Oh, no. Alain's unit can't cross the water. So all the fighting I've done for this side, I can't actually take advantage of it. So let's withdraw. Nope. Time is at hand. Our spirits are high. And I'm gonna withdraw this unit as well. Oh, you can't withdraw from here. Okay, you need to come over to here to withdraw. You got it. No, actually, I can actually order the withdrawal from here, which is great. Ready to move. I can do this. Withdraw. Okay, and then I can deploy a lanes unit from here. Now here's a question. If I withdraw, will you get a heal? So they've they've just withdrawn, and if I deploy them again, no, they come out damaged. Okay, so they they just need to garrison and heal. Let's bring a lane up here. Uh, you guys are healing up. We've got these two units here to deal with, but the cyclone is wrecking face. Um, surely there is no consequences to calling divine interfer interference repeatedly for help against the opposition. No, not at all. We actually just killed. We actually just killed one of these units. Okay, we're halfway through the battle, halfway through our time limit. 
Look, your majesty, the camps should be a good place to rest for a moment and replenish our energy. As they say, you can't wage a war on an empty stomach. Best make use of it while we still can. You can order units to camp at any campsite. Camping restores the HP and stamina of all added units in the area and revives any incapacitated mem members of those units. However, a given campsite can only be used once per stage. Okay, that's excellent. We're going to send Hodrick's unit there. That's a much faster way to, to, to recover them. Received. Um, yeah, keep moving forward. Now, this squad here I have a plan for. Can I get you to attack this and not get ruined for doing it? Because I need to take this out. I'm noticing that Fran, what, what, my knight is a little bit damaged. But I think if I do that, that's going to make my life a lot easier. Okay, hang on, Lex. Are you pushing forward a little bit too hard here? Because you've got these two units to deal with now, not just one. Let's wait for Elaine to come back in. <sighs> okay, now um, we can bring um, Albin's unit into the fray. Let's get going already. What do you need? You got it. Okay, we are we're doing stuff. Did they just fully heal? Did they just fully heal out of nowhere? I'm ready to hit something. Your villainy. This one's mum then. Okay, we'll get you to take that squad out. Yeah, once... Now, everyone died on the heist earlier, so good luck. Okay, you're going for redemption. That's fair enough. Oh, Wild Rush. That's a great new ability. I think I can order them to heal themselves. No, I can't. Let's get them just to move fast and get this done. I can do this. Ready. You got it. I've arrived. You don't stand a chance. I'm just gonna get through this choke point. Good luck, heisters. Your strength failed. Yeah, you've got a few. <laughs> nice hit there, Lexington. Are you okay? This is a really good little squad. The damage isn't high, but the, the ability to tank and defend is really good. I can just keep using them to pressure this unit while Elaine's unit uh, moves further north. I'll just keep pushing with Lex's unit against these guys. This one's mine. And that's a win and full heal as well, which is really nice. <laughs> well, Shimon Lady. I can do stuff. Yeah, see, Lex, you're good. That's a magic attack for you. You know, a really important stat for your class. Uh, let's get you to rest while we've got some time for that to happen. How is my aerial escort going? Now, you guys are moving. Where are you going? You're just moving over. Okay. We might take a little bit of range damage here. Mm, this battering ram should help us get through the city gates. It will. We'll do a hold of there. Get someone stationed and fast. Um, now, I just noticed this unit here looks like they were heading this way, but there's definitely no way they can cross the river. I'm a little bit worried how this is going to play out. Deploy a that reduces damage taken by 20%. Yeah, let's drop a guard call here. Victory awaits. You're a corpse. Oh, it's happened. Challenge to the phone. The remainder of the team managed to make it out of the bank alive, each with their own share. It usually lists... Oh, T-Rem and Fire... Okay, so <laughs> T-Rem always wins the heists. Yes, if you die, you win nothing. Cool ass. Big hammer. Okay, that should clean that up so that that's an easier engagement for us. Uh, Lex, uh, Elaine has a fight I didn't even realize was happening. You face me. I think you're dead, unfortunately, Miss Apps. And you too, cool ass. Anyone who wasn't mentioned, unfortunately, died in the heist. The heist, heist, the heist giveth and the heist taketh away is what happens. 
Big hit from Elaine. Wild Rush is a very good ability. <laughs> I love how you're adding for, uh, for a spot. I, I don't want to know how ranged attacks should your bonk hammer works. It sounds insane. No mercy. These, these, this unit needs to take out two units here. I want them to take out all of this, all of the wizards. So they're on a wizard assassination run. My training's paid off. Dead and buried. That sounds no mean. Too far. I take these guys out as well, please. What's next? Your villainy ends here. Oh, puppy's woken up again. My magic is yours. Nice. Okay, it's starting to feel like I've got this under control. All right, we're gonna send our this unit up to get the uh, get the what you call it the um, pattern ram. This machine kills wizards. <laughs> You're nothing. First boat, <laughs> yeah, I think we should call it first boat. That's such an in joke though. This has been such a long fight. Thank you for sticking with me through it. Oh, poor, poor puppy. I'll just check on her in a minute. Better keep this going. Whew. Oh, wow. Big level up there. That Griffin, I got huge level up. Well done, Fran. Tis the fruit of my labor. Not bad, Miriam. Nothing stopping me. Pretty good, Kitra. It seems you've misjudged me. All right, what we'll do is we'll send the Griffin squad here where they will recover HP and stamina. We need to rest this unit, and yeah, I think we're good. Okay, let's bring Lex up to cover Elaine while they rest. I am here. Make camp and heal allies within range. It does all allies within range. Wow. Okay, Hodrick's unit is back in action. Standing by. Okay, you guys heal there. That's fine. You get these guys, Lex. Hodrick, you support. Yes, whoever is leading the squad lets it fly. The Farsight Crystal, interesting. That feels like I need to use it. What's the bet that if I use this, there's going to be enemies around the batting ram? Okay, there are no enemies around the batting ram. <laughs> get to the batting ram. And I'm also going to make you use a Light Feather to get there faster. It's Pequod, yes. But Helldivers really reminds me of um, Metal Gear Solid V. I feel like the movement and the combat is very, very similar. Uh, not a great result, but it's fine. Yes, I'm desperate to get my squads to size four, which I should be able to start doing after this fight. It just requires a lot of um, honors to do it. But we killed so many units this fight, we're surely going to get a ton of honors. I think this is the fight that um, people, reviewers who got the demo, like only the Kotaku team managed to actually win this battle with the demo. Damn, that's so much damage. Okay, you should be able to finish them off now, Lex, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Good lane's back. We're just going to skip the fight here. Come on, game. There we go. And then we'll just keep sending Lex after them, and that'll be the win. How are you guys doing for stamina? You are healing at it too, so that's fine. Um, Hodrick's coming. Okay, everyone's doing their thing. Look how fast the Obin's going. We'll just skip this fight as well. Nice big heal for Lex, though, which is good. told you I'm awesome. Okay, what are we looking at in terms of the city? So they're still spawning units. There's a unit up here we don't really care about. Um, there was, I did mean to, and I forgot to do it. I did mean to check out this magic circle here. No, I think this is where we recruited the Shaman, actually. 
Um, no, it'll be a place I can do I can do repeatable battles. That's right. Okay, so you're about to get the batting ram. We need to deal with these two units. So who's best against these units? You won't really do any damage against them. You will do really good damage against these guys. How shall I proceed? You'll get wrecked by those guys. So we're gonna have to send Lex in against these ones. And then the Griffin Knights. Um, let's rest them. I want I need them back in action sooner rather than later. Oh, we need to watch out. There's a unit coming out. Okay, I've got the battering ram. A battering ram, is it? The handiwork of that girl, no doubt. <laughs> Such frivolous tricks will not save you now. A battering ram. Excuse me. Battering rams are siege weapons that can be operated by any unit. Station unit and move them towards a gate to breach it. They really think a couple of barricades can stop us? That battering ram will smash them into splinters. Go on, Elaine. Get that thing to the gate and break it down. Unbuild that wall. Oh, <laughs> look at the speed of it, because it's still got the speed buff. <laughs> you <got> Charge! <laughs> no running. That was hilarious. Nice big hit. Well done, Fran. Not Fran, I can't remember what her name is, Beatrice. Exactly, I was like, what on earth, why is a battering ram a frivolous trick here? It's a huge worry. We need to be careful because my squad are going to bounce off these and take damage. Oh god, I, they, just keep, they just keep on careening through everybody. I don't know. This batter, battering ram right now is a murder train. Oh, puppy. I need to check on you in a second. Travis has reached the front lines. This squad just wrecking all of these guys. Okay, be very careful here, because I don't think you can take all of them on. Oh no, you can just do whatever you want. But if you can take these barriers out, that'd be great. Nice. Okay, I didn't really want you to get involved in that fight, but it's fine. I love the battering ram crew in their battle bus. <laughs> well done dodging that hammer. Here comes a pain train. <laughs> yeah, it's metal boxes. Oh no, that wrong game. <laughs> okay, unfortunately the pain train need the pain train needs to rest. The pain train is tired. Um, there's one barrier left, unfortunately, which is a little bit annoying. But I think these guys can deal with it. Uh, can be destroyed. Yeah, destroy that. You guys destroy this. You keep moving forward. Uh, how are you guys doing over here? You're almost back in action. Oh, I'm actually running low on time. You don't stand a chance. Okay, let's finish these guards. To sloth. The battering ram was amazing. Usually battering rams are so slow, but that thing was a speed machine. That's it, mishaps, yes. Meadow boxes! <laughs> Calling down reinforcement. Battering ram. Well done, Lex. I'm quite happy for Lex to farm some experience here. Another good damage dealer in Lex's squad would go down really well. But I also kind of want, want to put Shamans in all my squads, just for the support they give. Good little, little, little Chloe. More initiative, I like that. We all know Lex, we all know. We're going to drop a flame strike on the enemy base so they stop sending reinforcements out. Come on, Lex. Get the final blow. Nice work. Okay? 
keep going. Lex, you have done a hero's work. I, I need a... Uh, oh, it's not you that does it, is it? Who has... No, it's it's Hodrick's squad that has the fireball. I shall be your shield. But I don't think I've got the range yet. No, they need to get closer. Okay. Can I get you here, please? Forward. And how's the squad here doing? Okay, they're back in action. Stand ready. At once. Okay, we've got some enemy units moving in. How can you do against these guys? They're going to be annoying. Okay, let's start off with a blaze. Good level of Chloe. <laughs> yeah, once I get the fourth slot per group, I'm very tempted to put shamans in all the groups. Because shamans just seem very powerful. Oh, you bounced off the thing. That's not good. Uh, the damage here is not ideal. Send you in first, Hodrick. Okay, this unit is back in action. We'll just wait for this fight to happen. I'm just going to skip the fight here. Let's get this over with. One of the soldiers went down. Batting Ram Group, what can you do here? Finish these guys off, and then you guys attack these guys, and then I need another blaze from you. Still not in range, okay. Just keep moving forward, move to like here. Mamishus is dropping heat. <laughs> yeah, the pain trade is coming. Oh, Alexis is gonna fight these guys. That's fine, they're gonna wipe them out. We're not even gonna watch the fight. Whew. It's actually producing units at such an insane speed right now. There's another unit just spawned. You got it. Your orders might so dropping a blaze here will stop it from spawning more units. Good job, mummy issues. Okay, and no, it hasn't spawned another unit. I see. And oh, interesting. They haven't reset yet. Okay, we just need to take these guys out. Let's just send everyone this way. Can you finish them, Hodrick? No, we'll, we'll send the pain train in. Toot toot. Okay, one more fight. Oh, did he? I didn't notice he died. All right, that's the last of the enemy reinforcements we'll probably have to deal with. All right, uh, I think Pain Train Group might be a good shot here. Nope. Hodrick's down. Well, how's Lex's unit going to do here? <laughs> Get wiped out completely. Um, you? Okay, we're going to set bring you in here. Let's get you over here because you've got some really useful abilities I can use. Oh, we have to actually destroy the gate, don't we? Okay, that's the gate destroyed. Now, you... Can you please drop a guard call here? So people get addition defense. Okay, and then you guys head in. Wait, 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 wait. Don't... Mm, yeah, you can actually soften them up. I'm not going to use him. He's not good for the offense. Ooh, interesting. Nice horse. Listen to the... Can you hear the chorus? That's some cool music. He's got a wizard. I don't want Lex moving in. Lex will get completely wiped out by this guy. Sanguine attack. I don't like the sound of that. Is he a vampire? Oh, good dodge. Nice. That's our first enemy with a four unit um, command squad. You don't like the music. You don't like this mishaps. You're not going to do any damage to them. I got you. You're not going to do any damage to them. I shall be your shield. Why is nobody doing any damage? What about this squad again? 
Okay, I'm going to sacrifice these guys to do some damage. We're going to get... Um, I wanted to do a... Increases first damage by 20%. I want to do a Valorous Order, but I don't have the stuff for it. Damage all enemies with a designated range. I don't have enough for a Wild Rush. What if we actually get you guys to do a heavy swing on these guys? Did they have three minions? I forgot about that. Oh, it got right better after you didn't come in. Okay. I get you. I think we're just going to have to send in some waves of enemies, of units here. The problem is, is there's a lot of healing going on on his side of the battlefield, and that's what's causing the problem here. We're just not getting in for enough damage. Uh, but let's bring a lane through. And we'll try to get our two biggest units to do some attacks here. Oops, sorry, I put my... Ah, my... Oh, the music's so good. The problem is, is he's going to get healed. Table flip. Yeah, we're not doing enough damage to him. And we can't attack the back line. Oh, she's down. I can't attack the back line unless I've got ranged units, which is a problem. It's the whole point of having a front and a back line. So I can't target the healers unless I have ranged units. So I can't get at them. And I don't really have very many ranged units as it is. All right, hopefully that's enough damage. Damn, we're still not doing enough damage. How do I get past this problem? Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to get Hodrick to drop another fireball on the enemy. Um, has you got anything you can give me here? Vitalize. Summon warriors. Summon a unit of allied mercenaries to the battle. Will they do anything here? Oh, I can't even control them. Oh. Well, that sucks. Okay, they will attack. And they did something. Where shall I go next? They just healed eight, which I really didn't want to happen. Um... Let's see what type of damage we do here. I, stand ready. Uh, I need a heal from Hodrick's unit on my flyers. Let's get Lex in here too, just so he's available. I don't know if we can do enough damage. They could have healed, honestly. That might have been a really bad mistake. We're just not doing a lot of damage here. Yeah, the uh, the base has actually healed back the knight. You're the wretched mutt from before. Hmm? Well, my diminutive prince, I suggest you stifle your queries, lest my spear stifle them for you. You could have delivered that a little bit more forcefully. Cavalry Slayer. That's right. He's got Cavalry Slayer. No potions we can use. And smoke dots won't help either. Yeah, I need I need archers in my squads, really. What I could actually do is try and reprogram my... Yeah, we need to kill... He's a problem. Okay. Um, a lane unit can go back in for another hit. We need to heal up the knights. We need to heal these guys up, so I don't want them to attack yet. It's, there's, there's not a lot of room to maneuver in here. Um, I mean, that's five damage is five damage. It's not a lot. <sighs> we need to get as much damage in before this ticks over. If I come in here and we go to Yanma, um, she's currently set to prioritize armored. Um, armored scout, archer, caster, elven, bestral, angel. Infantry. That means she'll target the... Uh, if I change it to this. Prioritize back row. She should attack the healer in the back row. Um, I'm hoping. But she's the only one I've got who can do that. Yep. Uh, hang on. I shall be your shield. Yeah, Hodrick's unit can't do anything here. Hey, I'm here. Oh, wait. Did you just... What did you bounce off? Oh, they bounced, they bounced off the gate. Oh, I don't... Uh... There's too many things happening. Okay, um, Elaine's unit is going to get wiped out if they attack again for some reason. I don't know why. Um, Hodrick's unit... Hang on. 
Lynch unit has stamina still. Your orders, my leash. I don't know what to do here. You can't attack, you'll get killed. Sure thing. You can't attack, you'll get killed. Ready to move. You can do five damage. Hodrick is also still dead. I can't bring Hodrick back. I've got no way to recover him without withdrawing. And I don't have time to withdraw. I, oh, and I've got a revival orb. Wrong squad, though. How shall I proceed? Um, anything else I can use here? Not really. So with Hodrick back alive, I don't think that changes anything because Hodrick's too badly hurt. Yeah. Uh, I don't think the battering ram does anything. It still works. Oh, could the battering ram not enter the city? Is that what the problem is? Okay, they've been wiped out. Okay, hang on. Who is attacking right now? It's, it's hard. To, okay, so you're going to do a little bit more damage. Um, you're going to do no damage at all. So let's just put you back up here. Uh, I think they're going to clip him. You're going to do no damage at all. So let's... What's that? What was that sound? Yeah, the sigil was actually making a doing a lot of work. Oh, hang on. I know what to do. I know what to do. I know what to do. Nowhere. We can use another revival orb. The item uses remaining zero. I can only use a certain number of items per battle. Are you insane? <sighs> okay. I'm going to try and send these guys back to heal. At once. Except they can't go there. Service. They need to fly back to here. Oh, no, I think they can heal here. Sir. Oh, thanks. That's what that was. It was a sub. I couldn't work out what that was. <laughs> there, was a, there was an audio sting that I didn't get. It was John Choi subscribing. Thank you so much. Um, guys, I, I don't know how we win this fight. Alain's going in. Hodrick can't do anything. They can't do anything. Did they just... No. Lex can't do anything. I stand ready. I can't. I can't think of what to do. The only other thing we can do is pull back um, and farm the squads that they spawn to get more valor points to try and go in again. Let's see how Elaine comes out of this fight. Let's see if the change in programming does anything. I'm here to help. Why now? Okay, she is targeting the healer. Can, can we do enough damage to kill the healer, is the question. Alright, this may be it. We may have it. If we get Elaine to keep going in and a killing and kill that... Oh, they're going to heal. They're going to heal because they're going to kill Elaine. Your orders, my lead. No change there. Oh my god. They hit the gate. Even though they're a flying unit... They hit the gate, bounced off, and now hit the enemy, and they're going to heal the enemy. Can you believe that? And there's nothing I can do about it. So that's an easy heal. Mameshu can, yeah. We maybe sacrifice the unit to do that, but she, oh, she didn't heal herself. Okay, she didn't heal herself. That's a really good point, uh, mishaps. I just wish I could. Okay, we've got until they heal. So let's target mummy issues here. Oh, my phone just turned on. That was weird. Um, let's change this. Uh, hang on. Uh, so I need to click. Oh, click on you. Go to condition one. I need to. Prioritize back row, and then I need to prioritize infantry. 
uh, infantry. Here we go. Okay, and I can actually also do that with this person here with long thrust. And I can go prioritize back row and prioritize infantry. The bouncing did troll me quite badly there. Okay. Yeah, we lost all the Valor as well. Okay, so we're going to send Mummy Issues. We're going to sacrifice this unit to try and kill that healer. If we can kill the healer, it's game over. This says they're going to heal 12, though. But I'm hoping that's 12 on the guy in the front line. Received. We're going to lose a lane in this attack. These guys can't target anyone in the back row. There's nobody in this squad that can. And there's... Um, you know who can in this? Chloe can in this squad. So we'll change Chloe's target as well. Prioritize back row. Prioritize infantry. And then I don't think Shaman has a ranged attack. She just has passive and quick curse. I'm just going to throw everyone in. I'm just going to see what happens because we are in a really desperate situation. Who's Axe Dude? Axe Dude is leaving send them in. The, the problem with Axe Dude with, with Albin's unit is they will be just wiped out completely. There There's, they've got no way of actually properly contributing here. I can't swap my units around in combat, unfortunately. Alright, let's see if we do any damage here. We're going to lose the squad, but I'm hoping we do some damage to the healer on the way. His Highness shall deliver your mind from the fog which beclouds it. Yeah, I have to remember to fix my programming. Somewhat unpleasant, but I assure you the treatment is a brief one. Oh, they're going first. That's okay, that's gonna hit Hodrick. She missed! I sacrificed everything on that attack and she missed. No, mummy issues! Mummy issues didn't even get a chance to fight. I'm literally throwing everything I've got at this fight. And she healed herself. She healed herself. It's over. I, I don't think I can win this. Forgive your Come then. <sighs> My magic is yours. Why now? Elaine's gonna go down here. <laughs> There's a slim hope. There's a very slim hope. Ready to move. Like an incredibly slim hope here. If I can get in for this attack before he heals again, then we've got it. Literally right on the edge. I think I think we will kill. Oh, she's healed. She's on 21 health now and she's going to heal again when the when the squad heals. I already did it. I already set that up, Miss Apps. I'm here to help. I'm sacrificing Elaine here. And he's down. Look how low it, their health is. The problem is, is they're going to heal here. So I, I can, if I want to, send this unit in, but they're going to heal. The other, where's my... Oh, they died. <laughs> yeah, it's it's over, everybody. I, I, I can't win this. It's it's unwinnable. We'll just send the squad in to die. Yeah, they just healed and got the person back. Oh. We need to spend some time, I think, getting some honor to make our squads a little bit bigger. And we need to set some squads up that focus on backline healers. This is indeed the Legendary Thirsty stream, although right now it's a very sad stream, Clockwork. A very sad stream. Because I have just spent... How long have I spent? 
I've spent two hours. I've spent two hours on this fight, and uh, we're about to lose it. I'm so sorry, everybody. That was a very good edge to death sound effect. This is the this is the rest in peace stream. Is there a way to just forfeit the battle? Yeah. The Shaman doesn't even really do anything against him because he has so much PP. If only Chloe had gotten there a little bit early. Oh, thanks, TRM. <sighs> I'm not giving up. See you, Noah. Thanks for hanging around. I also need to go and deal with the puppy in a minute. Oh my god, he's just murdering everybody. And getting healed at the end of it. Team Lex got wiped out. Sorry. <sighs> We're about to run out of time. Yeah, losing the healers at the start was probably it, to be honest. That Sylvan's unit wiped out. And then um, Lex is going to go in in a second. Oh, I didn't actually rest Lex. I have to rest him before uh, I can actually send him back in to die. This is the problem is they continue, their talent has expired. Game over. And you know what the worst thing is? You know what the absolute worst thing is? we don't get to keep any of our progress. So we can recharge from the auto save, which I don't think is gonna work. I think we actually need to return to the Overlord, overworld and grind, which means all the level ups we got in that mission have been uh, lost, I think. Yeah, barren current progress to return to the uh, overworld. And we're back here, um, which is a little bit frustrating. <laughs> I am going to go and give the pupper some attention for a couple of minutes. I will be right back. I'm going to grab a glass of water as well. Everybody should go and get a glass of water or go to the bathroom. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Oops, that's the wrong, the wrong scene. Now, what I propose is that we do some prep before the end of the stream. So, uh, we've got 60,000 
cash money. So let's see what we can buy, right? There's a lot of shops we've unlocked. We've got a shop here, 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 here. And I think these are shops as well. No, the, I think the gold ones haven't been unlocked yet, but let's just go around and see what we can buy and see if there's actually any useful items that we can make use of. Um, oh, there's an angel here. Uh, to try and um, get make our people better. Okay. I didn't realize that there was a limit, right, on how many times you can use an item in a fight. So we've got a battler's shield, guard efficiency up 25%, physical attack up plus two. That's interesting. That would be quite nice for Lex, actually. Because that makes his guard better and gives him more attack. Um, Dancer's bracelet gives the ability powerful call. Activates before an ally attacks. Grants plus 30% physical attack for the ally's next attack. Okay, both of these items seem really good. And then we've got a set of recruit stuff. I want to just grab one of each of these just so I've got them in my inventory. Um, we might need to come back and buy more of them. But just so I know, know what I got. Okay. Uh, let's teleport over to here now. This is what I should have done at the start of the stream. Yeah, I need to get more valor. So right now, I'll check in a second. Um, if it's steel you're after, you're in the right place. I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer. Fear is the little death. Yeah. This is what you get for buying the discount bag holding. So we've got the conveyable great shield. Guard efficiency plus 50%. Initiative plus 3. That's also another kind of good one. Um, the sanguine blade gives sanguine attack. Attack a single enemy, recover 50% of HP equal to... Recover 50... Okay. That's also not terrible. Let's grab one of these each as well. Although, wow, the Sanguine Blade is a very expensive item. It's got high attack as well. I think it's worth picking up. Done and done. Be seeing okay, let's check what else we've got. And I'll have a look at what we need to level up our dudes as well. So we'll jump over here. Um... First of all, do we have any deliveries we can give here? Yes, we can deliver the trout. No, we've already done that. No, we haven't done that. Yeah, we'll deliver the trout. There you go. So the bottom right-hand corner... Oh, hang on a minute. We just repaired this town. Our town's much rebuilt thanks to all the supplies you brought us. With nothing but gratitude. May the Father bless you all. Um, I could actually level them up to the next level, but I think I want to get everything to level one first. We can station a guard here now, though, so let's station Clive. Um, oops. Now, what have they got to sell? Crushing Axe gives Crush. Okay, gives Attack a single enemy, inflict stun. Vitality Talisman. Nothing here I really want that much. I mean, max HP plus 10 is fine, but every unit can have one of these items. So just for Lightning Dragon. Um, oh, nice, this is here. It's refreshed. If we come here, um, I can expand my units, and you can see in the top left that I expand max size from 3 to 4, requires 50 honors, that's the, the trophies. And if you look in the bottom right hand corner, I have 42, actually I can use my mouse cursor, no I can't. Um, I, I've got 42 honors. It's, uh, so I just need, I need another 8 honors in order to, to do this. Oh, this is also refreshed, that's good. Okay, let's say, uh, let's check this town here. Uh, well, for everyone, really, but you're the one who was asking. So this place... You're in the right place. This place sells the Runic Sword, which gives magic attack, which maybe potentially ignores armor, now that I'm looking at it. Let's pick that up. Done and done. Be seeing you. Per group, yeah. Oh, Poppy wants back in. Let me just teleport down here and I'll go get her. All right. I can't get a new unit. I'm sorry, mishaps. I don't have enough... Um, I don't have enough honor for it. Let me, two seconds, let's go get the dog.
Okay, I'm back again. Sorry about that. Right, here's the plan. We're gonna go. Do our, we're gonna keep doing our shopping spree. Um, no, I think I'm limited on how many people I can make. Let me just quickly check what's for sale here, and then we'll check that. So armorer. So we've got we've, we've already got a viper fang, which is a poison weapon. There's also the viper fang would have been really good against that boss. Um, we've got a warrior's medallion as well. Physical attack plus two, physical attack plus ten. Yeah, let's grab one of these, um, and then we don't need anything else. Okay, how much money? I've still got 1,800. Um, so if I just run over to the nearest fort, which is... Oh, hello. There's a fort just here. Oh, this is where we can hire griffin knights, by the way, which we don't actually have any of yet. Um, we can hire griffin knights here, which I, which also costs honors. But to expand units... Oh, no, I can unlock... No, see how it's... Wait, I can unlock it? I didn't realize I could unlock more units. I thought I was limited on how many units I had. We should definitely unlock another unit. Okay, that that changes things a lot. We're also going to increase the size of this to three. Okay, that changes things a lot. Can I unlock another one? I can, but I need I need, unit, I need infantry to put in here in order to increase your maximum size. No, I don't need to. Okay, okay, that's big. That's very big. Um, let's just check the last couple of towns we've got before we um, we give up. Not give up, but we move on. Um, oh, we've got a we've got a rapport conversation. I'll take a break while this happens. I understand you once served as a court sorcerer for Kuneer's royal family, Yana. I did, yes, long before you were born. What were your duties in such a role? Mostly mundane things like erecting magic barriers, brewing creative potions, and training the younger witches and wizards of the castle. At times, I offered counsel the king's knights as well, though they often only considered of hearing their worries than creating a simple incantation to ease their troubled minds. And what manner of problems were they concerned about? The most common was a fundamental reluctance to even raise their weapon to another human being. Cornea and Drakenhold were still locked in frequent border disputes back then, so fear of battle was ever present in people's thoughts. But we have a quick spell and all their hesitations would melt away. Um, this this doesn't seem on the level. I'm, I'm not liking this. Which would prevent those anxieties from becoming a liability in the critical moment. But are you brainwashing your soldiers to be killing machines? And losing their compassion? It was useful technique, to be sure. Though you utilize it too often, you risk ridding its recipients of every other emotion as well. There's no denying the strength of a knight without fear, but the sad truth is that such a knight may lose his heart in the process. And given the effects that our magic has already had on our people, we need to be more careful than ever about using this approach. I seem you put a great care into your duties assisting the Royal Knights, Yana. Great enough that I have no doubt about allowing you to cast such a spell on me! Elaine, what the f- Oh, then come to me the next time your fears get the better of you. I'll be sure to make the effects especially mild to leave your heart as unscathed as possible. Okay, that's weird. It's very strange. See, so yeah, we're just going to quickly do our shopping trip and then we'll look at our squads. Here to shop? Or maybe to oh, wrong, wrong, wrong place. I need to go to armor. Actually, before I do that, sorry for jumping back and forward. Any deliveries I can complete here, yes. So we'll add in the meager spack, um, scrap metal. And we'll add the sardines as well. And that's this town leveled up. Oh, it didn't. It didn't like do a thing. I must have already done it, not realized. It is okay. So Familiar's Choker, Sorcerer's Connection. Activates before an ally uses a magic attack. Grants an ally plus 50% magic attack. Grants the user minus 50 magic attack. Okay, so you give that to someone who's helping out. Yeah, we'll grab one of those. Throwing Scepter. Activate after an enemy. So this has Guard Hunter. Activate after an enemy guards an attack. Attack a single enemy with magic, ignoring 30% of their health. Uh, yes, that's amazing. A crude tacit. Activates the start of a battle, grants the user plus 20 physical attack. We'll grab one of those, and that's just at the end of it. Buff and for next attack, grants plus 30% attack, 50% critical damage, and minus 50% accuracy now. Okay, we'll grab these. Done and done. Yeah. Be seeing ya. Yeah, I did not... It did seem very weird for me. Okay, so we're out of cash. I have, I have spent all of our money, but we're just going to check these last couple of towns really quickly. Just to see if there's anything worth buying in them for later. Uh, magic attack plus two, magic. We've, or, yeah, okay. Runic spear, magic defense plus three. And then just a bunch of normal stuff. Level the town up. Our village is full of warmth and life again. All thanks to the Liberation Army. I truly can't thank you enough. 
We need, we're going to craft some squads after this, by the way, so um, I'll need your help with it. it boss. Okay, and then we've got, what, one town left? We've got this town here. Uh, cavalry Hunter's Buckler. Grants Cavalry Guard. Activates before being hit by physical attack. Block an enemy attack with medium guard. Becomes a heavy guard and grants the user plus one PP if the enemy is cavalry. And that's all that's there. Okay. Right. Um, we need to start looking at units. So in terms of formations, are we happy with the layout of all of our squads? I think what we can do is we can take... Um, we can take Bruno out of this squad. Uh, what's the unit to remove him? This. And just have it as the two healers for healing support. Yeah, that's 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 what we're going to check now, Miss Apps. Is, um, I was just checking what was available to you, So I knew for later. So what we're going to do is we need to work out what our squads do. Like, for instance, is there a reason to have two... I think having two clerics increases the amount of healing that healing support does, but I'm not certain about that. I don't know for, for absolute certainty that that is the case. But we could end up hiring a third healer and just have this as a triple healer squad if we have the honors for it down the road. Um, now, in terms of people that aren't currently in squads, we have... Uh, who isn't in a squad right now? I think they're at the bottom of the list. So Rolf... Yosef, Bruno, and Stefan are all not in squads. So I already bought two archers earlier for an archer squad, right? So we could just set an archer squad up right now with Rolf and Stefan and then have Bruno there to protect them. Uh, Bruno's pretty good. I just don't really have room for him anywhere at the moment. But I think it, it, it just goes without saying, like, this is an archer squad. And we have Rolf and Stefan in there. And then I just say we put, I say we put Bruno in the front row. And then if we wanted to, we could hire another healer. Um... In terms of units we can hire that we don't have, we currently don't have any Griffin Knights. But um, we also have two soldiers, uh, which I'm using to heal. So this soldier, Rosette, is here to heal Hodrick, and Chloe is here to heal Lex. Rolf, Steven, Bruno for AA, and Heater Sniping. Yes, I agree with and That's exactly what we're going to do. Um, now, we need to set up everyone's commands as well. What about a boy Yosef? Well, the problem with Yosef is Yosef is capped at max level and actually has reduced stats for a level 20 character. So I don't don't need to use him that much. I'd say let, get Yosef guarding the clerics. I think that's actually not a bad idea, TRM. That's a really good point. This is going to be the Holy Squad. Um, he also has, in terms of skills, he has a heal skill as well. So it's like not the end of the world to have him in that squad. Um, okay. So let's have a look at people's items and let's have a look at their um, their setups. So uh, there's so much to take. Okay, let uh, hang on. I'm going to sell all of the crap I don't want. Can I do that? Can I sell? Yeah, I can. Okay. You're in the right place. Okay, I want to sell all of these bronze swords. Um, keep everything that's not that's non-standard. I sell these bronze shields. Okay. How do I confirm the sale? Careful. You won't be seeing okay. Albin. Is that not how you pronounce it? Just having what we use to chase down fleeing enemies and intercept attacks seems good. Maybe make a unit that's a Griffin Knight and Clive or something to be fast and flying. Yeah, that's actually a good point as well. We've got 23 honors left. I don't have enough, I think, to create a unit and hire a Griffin Knight. Um, I think the Griffin Knights are from Fort Gru. Let's have a look. Oh, no, I don't want to fight you. No, go away. I don't want to talk to you. Oh, my God. Okay, I think this is the wrong fort. I think I actually want this fort here. How does a bronze bow work? It's, it's got bronze inlay. All right, so if I wanted to hire a Griffin Knight, I need seven honors. And if I want to expand units, I need... Okay, yeah. We can unlock a slot and get a Griffin Knight. And then we need to hire a Griffin Knight. So I'm going to randomize the name. One, two, three, four, five. This is Morgan. They are what right, growth types here. We've got growth type one and two. What we want probably off them is high evasion and decent physical attack. 
Keen gives accuracy, evasion, and crit rate. Um, if I just set this to, there's like a, an all-rounder. Yeah, all-rounder, okay. So Keen gives physical attack, magical attack, accuracy, evasion, and crit, crit rate, which isn't bad. Um, Go-Getter then also gives evade, so Go-Getter just gives evasion, crit rate, and initiative. Double Keen means we lose out on guard rate and initiative. Lucky means we lose out on initiative. Um, we're so underprepared, yeah. Hardy gives everything but initiative. It looks like initiative is quite a hard one to get on a Griffin Knight. We could go with Gro we could go with Keen and Precise. It means HP will be low, but everything else is getting a decent buff. That's a big accuracy buff. That's a big physical attack buff. I wouldn't mind an evasion buff though. I think evasion would be really good. This gives evasion crit rate initiative. I haven't noticed the bounce. I've been looking at the stats. Um, that's a huge buff to evasion. I'm just worried about the initiative. Let's go with Keen. Let's go with Keen and Lucky. I think that will work. What color do we want for her? Um, I should come up with a color scheme for my units. There's quite a lot of options. Let's just randomize it. You, you like Go Getter? You like that? Okay, we'll go with that. Um, hair, I'm going to randomize. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, accent, I'm going to randomize. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I actually really like the gold armor there. That's cool. Uh, black. Oh, we can. Oh, cool. We can change the Griffin's colors. Although I quite like the black Griffin. And then we need, we need to randomize her voice. Where's my prey? That sounds good. Okay, so that's Morgan added to the the, the team. Take it from here. And that's me with no honor left after adding her in. So the plan for her was to set her up in a unit to chase down enemies. Now, at the moment, she's on her own in that unit, but we have room for one other unit. Um, you were suggesting Clive, and we can do that, but then Elaine's unit is really underpowered in terms of damage, so I can't remove the hand, I'm sorry. Um, I don't really know what to do with Morgan. She's just on her own at the moment. The other option is I take one of my clerics out of Sharon's unit, add it to Morgan's unit, and then that's another roaming healing unit. So I could I take um, take take this cleric out here, put this one in, put Justine in. Um, well, the puppy's really unhappy. She wants to see the people who are asleep. And I could have two healing units. Do we like that idea? Two fast-moving units that can heal. They can also chase down if needed. Let's let's play with that concept. Okay, let's have a look at our units now. So Elaine is currently using her recruit short sword, but we can give them um, the runic sword, which gives magical attack. Uh, their magic attack is 29, their physical attack is 24. We can also give them the Sanguine Blade, which does tons of damage, and also um, steals health from enemies. Um, or the Viper Fang, which does, has, adds a Poison Slash attack. Um, actually, Sanguine Attack and Magic Attack are also different enemies. So, the Runic Sword might be really good, because it gives Elaine an attack they can do when the enemy is armored. Or we could give this to someone like our Lan our Lanschnecht, so they can just smash through enemies. So we could also give it to, where is the Lanschnecht? In Albin's unit, we could give the Magic Blade, oops, damn, the com controls are sometimes a little bit, a little bit get away from me. Um, we could also give the, it to Bernice. And then with that, with, with Runic Sword, Bernice gets a magic attack. Although this does generally does less damage with normal attacks. And she's not boosting her magic attack. I think it's actually a good choice for Elaine, because Elaine has a pretty decent magic attack by default. It's 15. It's not great, actually. This is quite a hard choice. Do we give the Runic Sword to Elaine? Physical attack goes down. Magic attack goes up. Lean Edge is the one that heals as well. So if he's not Lean Edging, he's not he he's not Lean Edging. He's not healing. Um, what else have we got? We've got the Battler's Shield, which gives physical attack plus 2. I wanted to give that to Lex. I thought I bought... Oh, no, I bought a great shield. That's right. The Viper Fang's also an option. And there's also a Baroque Sword here, which is just slightly better than the Recruit Sword. Better accuracy. No Fox Girls. No, no Kules. This is, this is like the, the meat and potatoes of, of what we need to get done here. Okay, we'll come back to Elaine in a second. Let's have a look what else we got. So, oops, um, for, um, oh my god, making such a mess here. 
There we go. So we've got, we're currently using the Kira Chiropaterin staff, but I can replace it with the Chlorotic, which is fire, which adds fire burst. Um, activates at the end of battle. It's like a single with magic, hits all enemies and the target is burning. That needs to be given to mummy issues. We also got the Thawing Scepter. Acts after an attack, enemy guards an attack, attack a single enemy with magic, ignores 30% of the target's defense. Guard Hunter. Let's give her the Thawing Scepter. Um, now the problem is, right, is she's currently using Magic Conferral to add magic damage to the allies next attack. So if I give her Guard Hunter, she'll no longer be using Magic Conferral, which means the damage that Elena will be doing will go down, but it means that she gets to attack an enemy if they guard. Puppy does need attention. I'm hoping that my housemate will get up and deal with the puppy, because um, at the moment I'm doing that all the time. But I might just... She, she, what the problem is, is she's in the, the kitchen area and she wants to get into the rest of the uh, place we're renting. But I'm not letting her into the rest of the place we're renting because she's going to go and annoy them. You know what? I think I'm just going to let her out and she not go and annoy them. Give me one second. There you go, she's been unleashed. She's actually coming to see me, which is really cute. So if an enemy guard, she'll do that. And if not, but the problem is, mishaps, is that she uses, um, so back to what we we're talking about before, she will use magic conferral when the first unit attacks, right? So that will use up her PP, which means that if someone does guard an attack, she won't have the passive point to use magic conferral, to use guard hunter. Although at the same time, I guess, it, I think we'll just leave it on her. Um, now, she also has a leather hood at the moment, and we have a lot of items here. Um, so we've got this Familiar's Choker, which adds another one that adds Sorcerer's Connection, which um, activates before an ally uses a magic attack. Or anti -ally, okay, that's not for her. The Dancer's Bracelet gives 30% physical attack for an ally's next attack, so that's another passive thing. I don't have enough passive points to use a lot of them. Units use it, gains 100 gold. Uh, physical attack plus two. What else do I have that's available? Physical attack plus 8%. That's really it. I don't have a lot of stuff available. Okay. I do have the Lapis Pendant, which gives base PP plus one, and I don't really know what that's doing on a healer. So let's actually grab this, right? Now she has two PPs. I'm trying to keep a straight face. She now has two PPs, which means she can use Guard Hunter and Magic Conferral. So that's fine. That's Yana, and then an accessory slot for her. Um... We've got the Dancer's Bracelet for powerful... Oh, that's right. Everyone has two slots. It's so huge. There's no... I don't have anything else to put in there, though. Okay, and let's see what uh, we're doing here. There's no new weapons to give to you. We can give you a Battle of Shield for plus two physical attack. I want to give that to someone else, though. And then the Gauntlets. Okay, let's just leave. That's fine for you. That, this unit, I think, is okay. Um, let's have a look at, this, at Hodrick's unit now. So Hodrick has the Unwavering Spear. I want to keep that on him. It's a really good item. But I bought a better Great Shield. I bought the Conveyable Great Shield, which gives an additional plus three, guard average plus 50%. There's also the Azure Crest Great Shield, which gives PP plus one. Why am I not using this? He's the only unit I have that can use a Great Shield. Well, that healer never gets into combat to never use that PP, cool -ass. That's the thing. That's the, the whole thing was like they never use that. Okay, so now he's got an extra PP, which doesn't really do anything for him because... Can I give him a skill to use that with? I give him Warcry. Grants the user plus 20% physical attack. Is there anything, or I could give him the Dancer's Bracelet for Powerful Call. Grants plus the... Yeah, let's give him the Dancer's Bracelet. That means he can buff someone else in the squad. I think that's pretty useful. Then we need to upgrade you to have the Chlorotic. Um, the Silk Hood, what does that do? It gives Magic Attack plus 10. Um, and then the Familiar's Choker gives Sorcerer's Connection, which you don't have enough PP to use. So we'll leave that. Um, actually, actually, instead of the Dancer's Bracelet, let's give you the Familiar's Choker. Can't be equipped by this class, damn. Okay, that's annoying. That would have been quite useful. So this squad's kind of figured out now as well. I don't think there's anything I can give you to upgrade you. I still need more accessories. I just need more generic accessories. Let's just give you the gauntlets. Okay, so you've been upgraded. Uh, Sharon's unit, I don't really care about. 
Obin's unit needs to be looked at now. So Travis is currently using Recruit Short Sword. Travis can get the Runic Sword, the Sanguine Blade, or the Viper Fang. The problem is, is all of these require a peep, uh, an action point, and I want him to be using Passive Steel. So let's just give him the Baroque Sword. He's got Evasion plus 20, and he's got Max HP plus 10. I'm happy with that. Now we've got you. You're using a Crushing Axe already. You've got no accessories. Um... We could give you War Cry, but I really want you to be using Parning Blow. And then I want you to be using Following Slash. I could give you the Sanguine Blade. That might actually be really powerful on this class. Like, really strong. Because Heavy Slash, I'm not too worried about. What does Heavy Slash do? Attack a single enemy for 150 damage, whereas the Sanguine Blade does... Attack for 100, but recover 50%. So what you do is you equip Sanguine Blade and you just give them a condition of if if, if um, your HP, why do I set my AP? Own HP is less than, uh, less than 100%, use Sanguine Blade, otherwise use Heavy Slash. <laughs> Did you die in another heist class? <laughs> you, you don't have the T-Ram cheats. Okay, and then I think everyone here is done. So Lex's unit. Um, so Lex has Warding Slash, which honestly isn't a great ability. So I'm quite happy to replace the Hallowed Blade with something else. Now, this does heal him by 10% when he uses an active skill. But we could replace it with the Viper Fang or the Runic Sword. Replace it with the Viper Fang, Lex will now poison people. If he goes first, he... Um, so we need to attack whoever has the highest HP. And then instead of the Recruit Shield, I want to give him the Battle Shield to increase his damage. And then he currently has the Leaf Broach, which heals 10 HP when using an active skill. So he's got a heal. He's doing poison damage. Um, maybe we don't do progress prior to self-healing. Yeah, you're right. Completely mishaps. Um, we could give it to Lex. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Um... And then we can set the same, the same conditionals up. So um, HP is less, no, own HP is less than 100% use Sanguine Attack. Um, actually, Sanguine Attack and Warning Slash do the same damage. There's not really any difference between them, but there is a slight bonus to do it this way. Then we've got the Battler Shield and the Leaf Brooch. Okay, that means we need to go back. Oops, we need to go back to this. Okay, I can't do that that way. We need to go back here. I actually need to equip a sword to her. Oh, she got the Viper Fang. I don't think the Viper Fang is a great choice for her because... The highest flat, yeah, we need to just prioritize the highest flat damage. So we've got the, the Hadle Blade does 14, the Runic Sword does 8. I think it is a Runic Sword. Yeah, we just give her the Hadle Blade, which will give her a slight heal as well. So that's fine. All right. Um, then Lex's unit sorted. Uh, well, Lex is sorted. Chloe, I don't think there's much we can do for Chloe. Chloe's got a Bronze Spear. I can't replace that. She's got Chloe's Charm, which gives her 30% extra XP, uh, which isn't amazing. I've still got the Crude Tracet. But I don't want her to, I, I think I need her to first aid, so I don't want her to lose that. Um, nothing, you, you could equip the Kira Podden staff, that's like plus five evasion, plus three initiative. Uh, has, yeah, that's, that's a bonus for you. The Dove Plume initiative plus 10, and Bronze Bangle, that's all fine for you. Rolf's unit, um, I don't think there's much I can give to you. You got a Bronze Axe, that's all I can go out there. Watch this Lantern, Blindness and Burn Immunity, that's pretty cool. And then Physical Attack plus 8%. But Rolf, we can equip the um, Flame Bow. Which gives fire arrow, flame arrow. So attack a single enemy, inflicts burn. That would actually be so good to combo out with our wizard. Poison won't proc extra attack. I know it won't dictate her hat. That's what. That's the the problem that I'm having with equipping people right now. Um, welcome to the stream, by the way. What's that? I give less second sword and just prioritize the highest flat damage on Bernice. Let's get multiplied by one point five heavy slash. You can just get a good generic sword and do excessive damage with it. Yeah, that's a very good point. And so I've given her the best one I can. The flame arrow here would be so good with in a squad with um, with our, our wizard because he has the thing that burns everybody if they're on fire. But I think we just have to go with this. So it does eleven damage, which is the same as a recruit short bow. So all I need to do with uh, flame bow is basically I actually want to swap these around. Um, how do I move it? Uh, edit? No, is it? Oh yeah. Oh no, what have I done? Ugh. There you go. 
So I want this to be the priority and I want it to be um, shoot at flying and shoot at scouts and then otherwise use flame arrow and fire that prioritize armored. Okay, cool. Don't worry. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to be getting all of this set up so that next time we're ready to go. Okay, so... And then I don't think there's anything... I, oh, I can... Rolf's already got a bronze bow, so there's nothing I can really do there. I just want to make sure that you're also prioritizing scouts. That's really important. Okay, that's that done. And then I think the only squad left is... The Griffin Knight. Um, and there's not much I can really do here. In terms of equipment, go to bronze axe, bronze bangle... Uh, there's a warrior's medallion here. Physical attack plus two, physical attack plus ten. You know what? We need to give that to our lanch deck. That's a really good... Uh, damn it. <laughs> well, this is the problem we just we just had, Direct Dictator Hat. I did a 90-minute battle, and we lost it because we couldn't out-DPS a lone cleric. So that, that's why we're, we're doing spending so much time here. Um, let's give you the warrior's medallion. That's a really nice buff for you. So that's an extra two physical attack. Um, plus 10% physical attack and plus 10% crit rate, which I think is pretty nuts. So she now has 44 physical attack. Okay, I think that's everything. We spent all of our money. We've equipped everybody. Um, I think we're looking good. I want to try a couple of things. So let's see how much damage the Lanch next doing. And yes, I will save. Don't worry, it doesn't matter if I lose this fight. This is a test fight. Okay, she just did 86 damage in a crit. I'm gonna add another command to her, I think. So I'm... I'm going to add in another command for her where she prioritizes the enemy with the highest HP with Heavy Slash, just to make sure that she's doing as much damage as possible. Also, we need to make sure that um, Clive is attacking the lowest percentage. I don't want the lowest percentage HP or lowest HP? The lowest HP always, not the lowest percentage HP. It has to just be straight up lowest HP to make sure that he gets the free action point for attacking. Right, I think we're ready to go next time. Let's save the game. Okay, it's 9 a.m. now. Um, I think we need to leave the stream there. I'm so sorry that we lost that battle. It's really sad that that happened. But at least we're ready to go next time. Um, we spent all of our money, we spent all of our honors. We'll do a couple of side missions next time and then prepare. Do you want the archers to have backline as a second priority so shoot, shoot healers? Yes, you're right, Mishaps. We do need to do that. Let me, let me sort that now before I forget. We'll save again. That's huge. Okay, so we want um, Rolf set to uh i can't set that unfortunately i've got them set to priorities flying and scout uh yes you can i and i did last time i did that in the in the combat though because i want to keep their default attacking armored the problem is i can't if they're shooting flying and scouts then uh, they're not shooting healers unfortunately Well, I guess we have to change their we have to change their scripting based on the situation. That'll just be their generic scripting. Um, one last thing I want to do is I want to have a look at our heraldry and see if we can update our coat of arms. All right, let's have a look here. That's quite cool. I quite like that. Um, I'm happy with the shield shape. Unicorn there, dragon, a sheep. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna go with the sheep. The sheep's cool. Um, the helmet. I don't like any of these helmets honestly. I think they're all pretty. Awful. Uh, the crown as well. I'm not a huge fan of any of the crowns. Um, left supporter. We can, we can get a waifu. Or um, a three-headed... Oh, that's a Cerberus. Uh, dragon, satyr, unicorn, mermaid. What is that? Like a turnip person? Oh, hello, Whiskey. Hello, pussy cat. The shy cat is here. You can reprogram a mid-fight. Yeah, I have to mid fight. It's either a sheep or a malformed brain. <laughs> it's a sheep. 
Uh, I'm gonna add this little chump, this pumpkin person. Um, we can have two pumpkin people. We can have we can have two uh, two clerics. I, I, I think, don't think it's wild enough though. I, maybe we'll go with the werewolves. Um, let's get a more fancy scroll. Let's and that's everything. And then yeah, okay, that that'll do. There's also what presets do we have? So cornea liberation army, witches of the swamp. That's what the mermaids are. House Aubrey is the one that has these weird things. House Cornea Militia has the Centaurs. Tricon Mercuries have the Dragons. Heaven's Adversaries have the Cerberuses. And the Palavian Orthodoxy has that. <laughs> Did you hear the cat jumping around on the table? Because <laughs> it was just... Yana had a plot conversation comment about reprogramming people earlier. Oh, no. I, d I don't think it's the same way, Miss Epps. It was morally questionable, but it really was. I get what you mean now, though. <laughs> Sorry. So much has happened to this stream. Even though we kind of are uh, out of it a little bit. Okay, thank you everybody. I think we're gonna end the stream there. I um, be going for what? I think it's one of my longer streams actually. I had a lot of fun, I'm just sad we didn't win that fight. Yeah, two, two, two hours, four, four hours, 40 minutes. I need to get some breakfast, I'm starving. I've been up since, what, I started the stream at 6.30. It's like 9.30ish now. Actually, it, yeah, it's nine o'clock now, so I wanna get some food. Um, I definitely enjoying these Saturday streams. Um, a little bit harder when you've when you've had a, a housewarming the night before, but we're okay. Um, I hope everyone else is good. Thank you all for hanging out. Um, I want to try and get Nebulous recorded either today or tomorrow, but it'll be tonight UK time for people like TRM and stuff. So don't worry about it now. It'll be in your evening, uh, like or your morning maybe. I'm not sure. It won't be right now anyway. I've got stuff to do, and then you'll get my new number plates. Um, it's been great fun having everyone here. Thank you all for hanging out, and. Um, TRM, thanks again for the super chat. I really, really appreciate that. I appreciate all of you so much. Yeah, just thank you all for hanging out. And um, yeah, I'm going to end the stream before I just keep talking. So uh, have a great one and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later. Ciao.